financially. This very effort we're making financially. 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 So you can't lie to your children, you see. Hold on there. Hold on there. Uh, I will continue from that particular point he stopped because for a reason, I'm here for a reason. I am here. I have another broadcast where he talk about receipt. That's why I'm here. And I want to thank all of you. My name is Tili Mehmet. Always speaking from the city of Vienna. As many of you may know, that is the capital city of Austria. Uh, today is Thursday in the year of our Lord, 29th of September, 2022. I am coming live from the city of Vienna exactly at, this is um, 1620 here. In other words, 20 minutes after 6 o'clock here, CPM here. I know it's one hour um, earlier in Biafra land. Maybe say 5.20 in Biafra land. Uh, we are here to make sure that um, we continue rubbing our minds together and um, begin to learn from one another. I am not going to be a little bit, um, you know, too much um, explaining uh, because I know all the things you're supposed to know, you know it. But anyway, just to remind those that have never uh, know the antecedent and at the same time, the modus operandi of indigenous people of Biafra. Um, that is why I'm here. And at the same time, I'm going to play you a clip of what Mazen Namdekanu said about who pays and who didn't pay. Not, th not this broadcast. I'm going to play that one about who, who are, we are going to give receipt and who not to give receipt. I know sometimes these things I hear, but because uh, many of us have never listened to it, and that is why some of us are doing whatever they like. Um, like I, I said, so many things is going on in Biafra land. Not everything that we show on internet, not everything they will begin to shout on the open. So many things are going on, uh, but what we know is freedom of Biafra. And uh, as many of you may know, they have been killing us, and they have been killing, we are asking them to leave us alone. That is the only thing we are asking. We didn't do anything. And also, you are going to know today the reason why the Northern people are so afraid when they hear that power want to grip out from their hand. It is because of what? What have committed. But you, you, as a Biafran, that are still clamoring for one Nigeria, you don't know it. You don't know it. Sometimes go back somewhere and sit down and ask yourself, why does these people don't want us to rule for at least for, for a time? They have been ruling for many years. For years, since the inception of this contraption, they have been in charge. Ask yourself, why now can't they support somebody from your side? Why? Because they know what they have done to you. So they are afraid that you are going to revenge. But you yourself don't know. So what you are shouting is one Nigeria. You are the one that carries it in your head. But they know what they have did to you. They know the, the atrocities that you cannot hear. They know that if they know that's why they are not they don't want to hear IPOB because they know that IPOB know so that's why they are trying all means to suppress indigenous people of Biafra they know that we are aware of the genocide this is not all about story we are now feeling it you know there's a difference between you know and you are feeling the pains you are feeling the pains I know how you feel when I show you this particular picture I know I know I know how you feel I know how you feel it's in our heart look at it here just, just watch, watch. This is your brother. They slaughtered us. They slaughtered. Not that they slaughtered in the battle in the battlefield. No, it was a stampede. They used hunger to frustrate our children. They said um, hunger is weapon of war. They block every access, not even from them, even from externals. That's why I'm always grateful with this country, Austria. They helped, but through your characters. That's how they have. So, that's why they are afraid. Many of you that are shouting, Obi, go, go inside. Ask yourself. Yara Dua. Babangida. Go on. Abdul Salam Abobak. Uh, uh, Buhari. Buhari again. Bu Atiku want again. Kwankwaso want again from the same place. But you are on that want to come. They are saying, no, no. It's not, it's not yet time. You don't know what they know. So, they know the history of this country more than you, even their children. Now, let's go. Um, as many of you know, we are also going to touch about the infiltrators in our land. And um, to speak on the internet is not the basis of um, intelligence. You see, as I'm speaking, don't, it's not because I'm speaking, you think I'm intelligent. No, there's something that will come. You begin to know how I rationalize idea. It's called rationalization. How do I rationalize issues? How do I convey message? How do I handle information? You know, before now, many of you know before uh, something happened, I will be quick to share it. 
At a point, I say no. I don't share this. If you are following me on Facebook and you are ask, you are waiting for me to be sharing you what is going on on ground as far the calamity and the revenge. I don't think you will hear it from me because we know what we are doing. Nigerian government know the tactics. They slaughter you. They they deny. They come in the public and say we didn't go there. We are just passing, and they are throwing bombs at us. They are throwing stones at us, and we say, why are you doing this thing to us? But many of you don't know. That's why sometimes I'm not happy when I see people making video of your own people who are trying their best. You will be making video. See them. Oh, see them out of jubilation. But I know it is out of cowardness and idiocy in many of us. We don't know how to keep secret. We don't know how to conceal information. That is the reason why you see these morons running around from social media shouting about um, um, defense fund, Umeri account. Uh, Sophia now is in charge. They now begin to expose so many things about this struggle. Many of you realize so many things in this struggle because of the infiltrator. Do you know what is M branch before? Do you know their job? The answer is no. Do you know about the account? How do we, the account we use, the name? Do you know? The answer is no. So many things are not meant to be in the open. Because when you begin to show your account, you are telling your enemy your strength. That's automatically what it meant. And when you begin to, you know, double into the security architect of your struggle on ground, begin to mention names, begin to, you know, say you are in charge, somebody that is not even in the struggle, they will not begin to, oh, it's like they are weak. So, we have experienced a lot of bad locks in this struggle that we are recovering. We are recovering. I have to be honest with you. There are so many things we don't need to talk. The thing will be going on its own. Result will be showing. While your job is to begin to wail and cry, international communities should come and help you. That's how things are being done. It's only Boko Haram that will claim responsibilities of what they didn't do, just for you to say, oh, they are strong. Because they don't care to secure their people. You know, many of us, I cannot be here now, for example, I begin to make a claim, whether it's me or it's not me. I begin to make a claim of what is going on on the ground. And I'm not there. And I don't have the arms to defend you people when they now come in, in form of revenge. They will come and slaughter everybody. Now let's go. Um, I think we will start it from Odenibo. Let us listen to another voice of um, Enoch Odenibo. I know many of you may not, may not have heard this one. Um, let's just pay attention a little bit um, so that you know many of you don't know uh, what happened. This is Enoch Odenibo. Okay, let's go. Let's go to you, our professor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, director, this is uh, Odeni calling from Niger. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. You're welcome to the program. I'm playing this Odeni for you to, you know, when I'm talking about um, history, you don't know your history. I just want you to help you recover a little bit. Many of you must have know about this, but you know, when you're hearing from a professor, why we need intelligent men in this struggle. We need educated men in this struggle. That is why we are trying to hold those on the leadership accountable we need you know when you have a very viable and um, progressive organization it attracts intelligent men but when you carry bumbling baboons and doulard do it how we by brother prayer 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 it don't it doesn't attract anything what will be attracting is pastors that are criminals to come and help you defraud your people with prayer and fasting i don't do fasting i don't do prayer in fact prayer for me is like it's like a bad luck for me. All these prayer requests. Pray this one. Read Psalm, Psalm 28. Uh, read, read Psalm 105. 20 times. Make a, make a Psalm that. Make an carry this and come out from this struggle. You people are offending some, 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 some people. You should know that this struggle is not meant for Christianity alone. Me, I don't read the Bible. I'm on your God more. Then what do I, what are you going to give me? So, when you get with this, don't make one side. Don't want this thing. So, all these prayer, pray Psalms, pray. Carry and go one side. And you also giving us this quotation. And when the prayer department, I want to know. And when the prayer department this struggle, what is their job? What have they achieved with their prayer? Superstitious believers. Now let's go. These are the history of um, a brief history of um, Biafra. Not history, let me just antecedent the incident that occurred. You know, he's a professor. Let's listen to him. And the world is listening. Go ahead. Uh, fellow Biafrans, 
I still remember the old adage, charity begins at home. Charity begins at home, yes. This saying has its equivalents in many Biafran languages. But the one I remember readily is the Igbo equivalent. Honorable man, I'm a law son. Translated literally, this means if you hear your kid and king crying, do not abandon them. But their friends have been able to survive all the vicissitudes that have befallen them over the past 100 years was due to the tenacious belief that charity begins at home. Right now, danger is locking. Enemies of Biafra and their collaborators are poised for their final solution of the Biafra question. Complete extermination of the Biafra people and erasure of their culture from the surface of the earth. This is the most critical time of Biafran history. If Biafra does not defend itself now, there is 99.9% .9 chance that it will be wiped out by enemies whose stocking trade for the past 100 years has been to get the upper out of their way. In modern history, only two groups of people have been marked out for genocidal treatment by their enemies. The Jews during the Second World War and the Africans during their War of Independence. In 1948, the world recognized the evil done to the Jews and decided to set up a homeland for them. In addition, all those who perpetrated war crimes against the Jews were hunted down and brought to justice. That the state of Israel survived till today is thanks to the indomitable Jews in the diaspora, especially in America. They brought massive material and financial support to the state of Israel. Did you hear what he said? That's the reason why Mazen Nam the can look in the direction of America. This man is one of his mentors. He do go to his office, he do he talk to him. He gave him this um aspiration to make sure that they rely on the people of Biafra that is living in America. But one thing that they forgot is that the people of Israel and people of Biafra, they are not the same. The one in America, the uh, majority of them are stuck, bumbling food. They were mixed by food and blood during the war. You are going to hear it from Mazen Namdekan today. There were a lot of rapes. So I have seen our sister asking where does the thief come from? Not everybody that answers the name you bear is their brothers and sisters. This is not segregation. You know, many of you don't love when somebody is speaking the reality. I, I repeat, many people you are seeing today in Biafra land bearing your name, they are not your brother, they are not your sister. You, you can only know someone that is related to you when you people have the same ideology, the same mindset recognizing who you are and admitting that you have been killed and you need to come out of it to become people of your own to support you without begin to point fingers at one another i will repeat this particular point he said the people of jewish that are living in america supported the jewish state financially in a very big way for the state of israel to be realized for the state of Israel to be restored. And guess what? Gobachev. Many of you know him. Not Gobachev, sorry. Uh, is he Gobachev, if I'm not mistaken? 
No, Gorbachev is from Russia. The first prime minister of Israel is from this country. He was living here. They were supporting the state of Israel in secret. Nobody knows. Financially, secretly, no noise. Until the state of Israel was restored. In order to honor the people that are working underground without noise. They flew all the way from, I will find his name. They, they flew all the way from Israel to Austria and leave the man back to Israel to now become their first president. But I know many people will be on ground fighting. They will be thinking, oh, how can we be on ground fighting now? Thinking that we will become president, somebody outside. But the people outside are supporting it in a, in a very heavy way. So we have that mindset to our people in America. Guess what? They suck this struggle dry. If you want to close your eyes, close now. Begin to think about saboteurs, infiltrators, exoparasites. Majority of them from America. They live in America. This Congress. Many, many of them are not in support of what they are doing. Many of them are the ones supporting autopilot. Many people don't know. He, he, uh, um, the group has its own. Maybe promised mass and the kind they are going to support. The World Ebo Congress. But the individuals, in their numbers, they are not in support. Because I saw their reaction. This is what the man said here. They were supported from, from, from America. Especially in America. Repeat, repeat. That the state of Israel survived till today is thanks, thanks to the indomitable Jews in the diaspora, especially in America. Mm -hmm. They brought massive material and financial support to the state of Israel. And today, the Jewish state is a power to reckon with. Today, Biafra is at the crossroads. 30,000 killed in the first wave of pogroms in 1966 in northern Nigeria. 3.5 million killed between 1957 and 1970. And from then till today, Biafrans have been targeted for killing in their homes, in places of worship, and in markets. Throughout Nigeria by Boko Haram. Ben Gurion, it's okay, brother. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He was a student of this um, uh, this um, this university. The name is Ben Gurion. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Ben Gurion was living here in Austria. I want you to make claim what it is. Say, time in Austria, come now support it. Come, I'm going to the first prime minister. That Ben Gurion does not have a mind to become. Israeli Prime Minister. No. He was supporting it with his mind to restore their land. And he was rewarded. Be good young brother. May God bless you. Are we going to allow an alien culture to wipe us out of the earth? Or are we going to defend ourselves and survive like the state of Israel with whom we claim a common origin? I think Common sense suggests the latter. This special appeal is to their friends in diaspora. If something is not done now, Biafra as a nation will see it exist within two or three years. It is the duty and responsibility of their friends in diaspora to rush material, technological, and financial aid to save your people. Before friends can help us, they would like to see what we have been able to do for ourselves. The right, right. friends have purchased a powerful transmitter for the dissemination of information to all segments of the population. Radio Biafra can now be captured by satellite. These are valuable projects. 
but there is still a lot to be done. Biafra needs arms and ammunition to defend itself. Biafra needs to maintain, feed, clothe, and equip its fighters on the ground. Time. That's what we need. Only sustained contributions by individuals and groups can ensure victory for Biafra. Go to www.radiobiafra.co and click on the donate button and follow the instruction to make your donation. Groups and zones of Biafrans in different parts of the world must continue to make their monthly contributions without fail. In this regard, coordinators around the world should be alive to their responsibilities by making sure that their zones honor their pledge every month. What is this? What is this? I know. To minimize bottlenecks in the system, coordinators have now been upgraded to the activist wing of the Biafran struggle under the control of the director of Radio Biafran. There is no time to wait. Biafrans are dying in large numbers every day. An assault on Biafra is an assault on all of us. If you are a Biafran patriot, contribute to save Biafra. On the Biafrans have always been a great people. Get yourselves out of slavery and regain your greatness. God bless Biafra. Thank you. Thank you very much and God bless you too. That was a very erudite, very eloquent, very learned and intellectual, if I may add, professor. But then was a professor in the U.S.? Not professor, or you go to strike uh, for nine years. You come back for nine hours and then you write your doctorate thesis. Genuine professor. Taku Jesus with us is one of us. Taku Jesus is a genuine professor lecturing American people, prophesizing in front of Americans. Not fake, intellectual. He blew fire the surface in Canada, Texas, again, also. I don't know when carrying a file became a part of intellectualizing, if I can put it in those words. This is Radio Biafra. We are... Hold on there, hold on there, our leader. Um, the voice you hear is the voice of Professor Denibo. And we have a lot of professors in um, of Biafran origin that are living in the Western world, but they don't give a shit. Uh, they're dealing with their family. They're dealing with their family, and that's all. And that is why they don't contribute. Even when you see them coming in, they don't even come to talk about uh, the welfare of Biafra. They talk about how to destroy this struggle because they are afraid of war. They are afraid of anything called fight. A lot of things is going on in Biafra land, as many of you may know. And... Um, we should know how to manage information. That is the reason why it's not good to have insubordination in a struggle. Any struggle that don't have mechanism to checkmate these loopholes, they are bound to experience hiccups here and there. The reason why we are in this mess, because this struggle have no mechanism to deal decisively with people who are delaying and at the same time sabotaging this struggle directly or indirectly. This struggle has become democratical in nature. That anybody can come and do whatever they likes. You know, in as much as what they are doing can even involve 
taking life of others. They don't care. They do it and they brag about it. That is the reason why we are in this situation. Any day, this struggle and um, those that are organizing it have a mechanism to checkmate these things I'm telling you, you will now begin to see that you are really fighting for freedom. We said it is a peaceful agitation, but people are still dying. We call it a peaceful means to get our freedom. We have been given instruction not to take the life of our own. That any time we enter into it, that Biafra will not come. But let us also know that if we are not checkmating these areas of sabotage, Biafra will also not come. So we must know and at the same time learn the, the what is functional, what is obtainable in our society. I will give you an example. I posted it today and I lock it, but I'm going to play it. After playing it, maybe after the program, I will still on it again. Many of you must have watched it. There's a brutal onslaught going on in Biafra land. Citizens are being killed left and right. Burn their houses. I don't know how you, you, you that are watching me, you will feel. When somebody comes to your house, burn your house from beginning, to, burn it down. If eventually, dear friends, as the case may be, your mother and your father and your children, siblings are inside the house, they burn them together. How will you react if you are a grown-up man? And you have that instinct in you to revenge. You have to look for a way to revenge. There's a lot of things has a lot of things has happened in the Biafra land today that many people are taking revenge from different angles. And that's the reason why you cannot take responsibility or whatever you see on ground. Now I show you this. I put it and I off it, but just watch. And I know why I say let me just explain first. So you can understand the angle. When we say you need to, we need to learn how to assimilate issues when we see it. I put this in a rotation. I put it on rotation so that um, they will not block me. Uh, because um, that's why I put it turning. I, I want it to continue rotating. Uh, because um, if, you, if you allow it not to rotate, Facebook will block me. This one is enough to give me 30 days blocking. Now watch. Watch this. That I told is not killing people in our region. It is not correct. Wicked politicians are sponsoring the killers in our region. Hold on there. Hold on there. Uh, many of you know the killer himself. This is one of the killer squad we have that kill his people. You know, when you continue killing, you know, killing your people, you get confused. You now begin to realize what is going on. You now begin to say, I pop is not responsible. But up to today, they're still killing I pop. Look at it here. I repeat again. Many of you know him. What you are seeing rotating here is what happened, uh, I think, yesterday. Or rather, I saw this one. I saw two different things yesterday. I mean, day before yesterday. And this one, maybe today. It should be today. That's one I saw yesterday. And that's one I saw today. Differently and different areas. Now watch. If anybody tells you that I said is not killing people in our region, it is not correct. Wicked politicians are sponsoring the killings in our land. Hold on there. Hold on there. Hear what he said. He said, anybody telling you that it's IPOB that is killing, that are doing the killing, that is not correct. That wicked politicians are the ones doing the killing. We don't have problem with them. They should go and mind their business. We, we know how we do our things. Now, <clears throat> let us see one criminal from four by four bedroom look at his own i want you people to understand that nobody will kill biafra again and go free nobody no army will kill biafra again and go free 
No police will kill Biafra again and go free. No politician will kill Biafra again and go free. Hold up, Hold up. If anybody tells you that iPod is the one killing people in our region, it is not correct. Hold on, yeah. Hold on, yeah. This this one have run away to he have run to take responsibility of how, what happened to the military men for reasons for two reasons. Number one, for him to remain relevant in the eyes of the gullible ones because of fundraising. At least let them see since you have failed in other things of you know trying to make people to sit at home ordinarily to sit at home you can't enforce it. Then now. Something has happened to military that everybody is supposed to keep your mouth short and be doing what we are doing. And, you know, normal agitation. Strong men that are watching me will believe me, you know. You know, not everything. Let me use my language, but it's okay. It is called silent over stammer. And we are silent over stammer. Many of us that attended, um, that allow university to pass through them, you understand what I mean. Even sometimes you camouflage to go heat so that... You, you, you camouflage, you know what I mean now? You dress, you change your code to go operation. When you come back, they will not be putting it on other people's head. Smart people, that's how they work. It's only um, Boko Haram, all these terrorists, the, only, the people that take responsibility. Now, this idiot now is claiming that he's responsible of what happened to the military. Number one, like I said, so that the fundraising will continue. So that he will remain relevant. And there are two reasons. This one I'm, I'm listening is under, under, the, under the guise of being relevant. So that fundraising will be going on. So that people will see him as he's doing something. People will be hailing him. Even if when, when a military was maybe on their way, maybe had an accident. He will come out and say, nobody will go free. He's in, he's, he's in, he, he's in some far away. He has nothing. The only strength, I am into the struggle now. You may ask me, how do I know? He has nothing. The only strength, I could able to just let the able to just let those areas, we know them, that are going to be tormenting our people who are selling and some of our uh, sisters who are going there, who are just moving their way about and they will be kidnapped and raped. Able to just let those areas. Now, and when a lot of things are happening in our land, and when they destroy their livelihood, they will not be happy. They will most find a revenge. So, it has nothing to do with them. Um, Biafra issue. These are the individuals which we are in support of what they are doing. They must revenge the death of their people. You can't kill my people and go free. If you kill my person, I have to find a way to revenge. So, he ran away quick to claim responsibility so that fundraising will continue. And secondly, for the main issue, so that the Biafran people will bear the bond. So that IPOB, those who are supporting IPOB will be discouraged from supporting them. Because if we should direct this killing to this military, if you should direct this killing, accept it that it's you, then you have to get ready. Do you know, do you know why it is a little bit dangerous? The military, they are illiterate, number one. They are not coming to face those that are facing them. You know that. They will go on innocent people, the people that have not, nothing, not, all these women, community that are, the people that are living there are pure old people. They will burn everything down and kill everybody they see around that area because you come out and be saying you claim responsibility. So that's why I told many of you that we need mechanism. We don't have it. Muslim and cannot come out. Many of you will see how I ask you a question. I, I know many of you will say I'm arrogant. You know, I will, I will, if I get the opportunity, you see the way I will post on him regarding about mechanism to checkmate these flaws. And with the loopholes. I don't want to transfer it to the letter of state because that it has been there before Mazen Nam the Kano was adopted. So there we are loophole. I understand why he did it in that way. He was doing it thinking that he wants to carry his people along. He was not even thinking more on his people. He's thinking about outside. That's why anytime he's talking, he's about Fulani, 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 Fulani. But we never we never take much our energy inside which is where we are having the problem not outside so that is the reason why many people are coming out to be talking what they are talking if they will use example one person 
I, I one person say it's because of this. You will see on your land on OG, on your land on OG. We have men now. These people we saw on them exposition of um, ESN. They are men. They are men that are determined to walk. But our eyes are outside, outside. Fulani, 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 Fulani. Nigerian government, Fulani, Nigerian government, Fulani. And now, thinking that everybody have understood the journey we are into. But not knowing that he's not. So, this is why you see this criminal come out and be telling you people that nobody should kill, no military will kill Biafra and go free again. No military will kill. So, if they hear it, the military say, eh, okay, you see them. So he said, they said, that's why we are trying to push them away from IPO. But they, are, they don't want to go away. Had it been they have their own platform, have their own name, I have no problem with that. And I then let them, even, even though it will be a, a, a thing of concern to me, because they are claiming that they are fighting for freedom of Biafra. But at least, not the name of the man inside. But it is also a flaw on the people of Biafra, because there, there will be a, a retaliation. And the retaliation will not even on those that have arms, like military have, no. It will not be on the people that are revenging the death of their people, no. It will be on innocent passerby. So that is the reason why you see us talking. Some people say we are talking too much. No, we will continue exposing things that are hidden. So that is why so many things is lacking. In this struggle, so many things is lacking in the area of um, security on how to checkmate our own people. So many things is so many things. I don't know. This is too small. I don't know why. Um, I wouldn't want to double into it anyway. I have been taking it easy. I take it easy gradually to see how it's going to be resolved. Mazen and the can you set up the a project, set up a project for all I know from what I'm seeing. From what I see, no matter how you try to cover it up, I don't come here to paint world. From what I have experienced, there's no mechanism to checkmate inside people that are frustrating and sabotaging the struggle. And that is the problem. Internal enemy very deadly. Um, which program I have here? Let me listen to this again. Let me see what I have here. If your relative is not abroad, you're starving to death. They're meeting in Enugu. Now, the news in greater detail before we open our lines. This is 48. That occurred later, and the one sided success of the coup created the wrong impression that it was an Eastern agenda. No, this is not what I, this is not what I wanted. Now, no, no, let, me, let me do this in once and for all. You know, we are talking about the issue of um, receipt last time. You remember? That was a time I made a broadcast, and um, it occurred to my mind and began to raise the issue of receipt. I think I now I searched for it and I found it. I found it. What Mazen Namlekano talked about receipt. And then. Um, such questions came as a result of a woman who called from America. Uh, there was a time we talked about paying one one dollar. Do anybody remember? There was a time we were talking about paying one one dollar to support this project. That was um, a kind of um, project we created. There's a name we call it that if everybody should pay one one dollar, one euro, it will go a long way. You know, that was a project like that. I don't know whether that project is still on. I think I have a copy of that here. And um People now, people begin to talk about if they pay one dollar, they should get a receipt. And when we have been talking about ESM fund, I mean, that time it is not ESM, that time is um, defense fund. From defense fund, we call it ego either zobod. So many people were run away to pay it. Then when the issue of one dollar rise up, many of them want to pay to collect receipt. So that is the reason why our leader talk about no issue receipt to anybody who pay one dollar. So I, I believe, this is my, I didn't say this is the reason why people are doing it. I believe this is where they heard and said, Mazen and can say we should not give the city to anybody. This is not in IPOB. No, please. And that's why I want to repeat. I want to play it. Um, this is a caller from somebody from America. I think it's a lady. It's a lady from America. Let me see if I still have it here. I just want to clarify that so that we know what we are doing. Some days ago, he talked about the people that we donated 50 
pay 1,000, nobody wants to come. But when they talk about $1, they line up to pay and collect the seat. So this is what this lady is complaining. I believe, I don't know where this, do anybody know this lady? Whether she has joined autopilot. And keep it, so that when the time comes, if you say it is not there, suppose you are a job, they struggle, they will come bring the receipt of one dollar they pay for four to five months. They bring the receipt for one dollar. I say, let us say. It is not funny. Don't give them the seat. Me and Yoshi, don't give them the seat. One dollar they want to see. Don't give the receipt of one dollar. <laughs> so, because they are not in Biafra struggle and they don't want to support. So, they, you know, Mas Namika have been saying, if you don't support, you will not enter Biafra. It happened in Kosovo. So when the issue of one dollar arise, many people want to pay the one dollar and collect the seat. So that is where he saw him shouting, "No, don't give them the seat." You know. So then you will hear where the lady said, even when the issue of to pay higher money come, they will not near. Then now we are talking about defense fund. People are paying; they deserve to be given the seat, please, please, so that it enable them to come back again and contribute. I don't know if you want to understand it now. Just, just think about other organization that are doing fundraising, and you have interest to help them. You need the seat now, unless you just want to, you know, you don't care. If you care for them, somehow you claim to be part of them. You need the seat. If you pay hundred euro, you need the seat now. You need it. You need it. It will not kill us. Provided you are paying, they say financially you must support financially. It's not me that you must be a registered member before you support. No. So when you're senior, this is near the seats. I just want to play it for that. I don't want us to go back to this again. Um, oh my God! <laughs> I, I don't give them the seat. Me and Yoshi, don't give them the seat. One dollar they want to see. If you give anybody the seat, I will make it for change. That person must be a full member. Participating in everything that 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 that, that, that people are doing in your country. Those people that will come today, you will not see them tomorrow. They will come and donate. Uh, She said, when they talk about the donation of $1,000, they will run away. So the girl is talking about $1 to issue the seat for $1. <laughs> because they are coming the receipt, they will keep it. When the after comes, they will come back with that receipt and say, if you refuse that the answer, they say, I support them. This is my receipt of $1. No. God bless you. Thank you very much, my dear sister. sister. <laughs> we don't want that to happen. Biafra is ours and we are going to get it. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Anybody who does not support this struggle will not come into Biafra land. If you like, you join the enemies and we kill you. It's as simple as that. It's happening in Kosovo. If you do not support the struggle in Kosovo, you can't come in. Your name is on a computer system. Once your flight lands in Kosovo, they will check if your name is not on the table to go back from where you're coming from. Our people cannot be smart and foolish at the same time. Those of us that sacrificed everything we have to go and fight for our freedom, we are not stupid. We also have a bit of common sense. That is why we need everybody to participate. Biafra belongs to each and every one of you. We are seeking to build a properly inclusive, egalitarian, progressive society in black Africa where there is none. There is no developed country in black Africa. We want to be the first. So please. Uh, all those countries that say they don't want to give the seat, make sure that you can handle a gun. Stop saying, "Give us gun, give us this, give us this," uh, on Facebook or live on air, when you have not done anything to show that you can handle a gun. If you give you gun, can you handle it, or you go and sell it and use the money to go and buy wee wee, to go and buy ganja? We wish some of them did. Those that we gave guns, what did they do with it? They sold it. So you don't know? Go and join the volunteer command, go and join oh, oh, our volunteers on the ground if you want to know what is happening, not to come on social media and be talking like a, a demented fool. We are live and we are direct. Um, I think uh, this is what I have before, before I... <laughs> very clear. Very, very clear. This is a subcontinent, a Yoruba man, a baby, one a raped an 11-year-old girl. 
this girl is two years older than Aisha when Buhari left Aisha. The, your so-called first lady. A victim of child abuse and rape. A Deborah Wale Dauda who allegedly defiled or raped an 11-year-old girl was on Wednesday arraigned before an Ikeja magistrate court. The accused is 78, I told you, septuagenarian, 70s. My name have won. My goodness me. The address is unknown because he's a Muslim. They sleep on the street, maybe in the mosque. He is facing charges of defilement, sexual assault, and breach of the peace. Why wasn't this same charge brought against Buhari when Buhari raped Aisha at the age of nine? I'm asking you. He was 45 then. Why wasn't this type of charge brought against Buhari then? Then trouble ended. <laughs> Very big one. I'm telling you. The prosecutor is Sergeant Jima Isegede. He told the court that the offenses were committed on August 4th at 29 Anipupo Street. Pen Cinema Agege, that hey, Agege, even as the name sounds, very dirty place. They call it a suburb of Lagos. If Agege is a suburb, then I don't know what a suburb looks like. One of the dirtiest places in the whole world, Agege. Can't you see how the name sounds? Very crude, crass, and very global indeed. According to Segre, the policeman prosecuting, the accused called the victim to a lotto shop at the above address under the pretense of sending her on an errand. Remember the Islamic cleric that raped a little girl at Yanapaja? Have you forgotten? They always use some time. Come, I want to send you. Come, let me send you a message for your mama. Imagine those that are not being reported every blessed day. The abuse happening in the zoo, little children. No wonder when they grow up, they turn into prostitutes. So less prostitutes everywhere. Nigerian girls. So less prostitutes there. The shop owner does not stay there, so it is only the accused that goes there every day. And because of this, it was easy for him to carry out the act. The accused had assaulted the child eight times and told her that she would die if she tells anyone. 11-year-old girl assaulted eight times Yoruba old man without honor Yoruba Muslim these are the people you want to be in the same country with and some of you say oh it is not just that it is also happens in Biafra as well if you go to I say how many of those cases if it is as rampant as it is in Yoruba land has seen the light of day after all all the police people are Awusa Fulani they will quite gladly persecute anybody. That tells you all you need to know. Yoruba, shameless old men, old fools, abusing little girls. This thing happened in Yanakbaja, in a mosque. They say it's an imam. Raped a little girl, and the police did nothing about it. Let's continue. The pedophile and terrorist Buhari, the sole administrator and dictator of the zoo called Nigeria, the British created zoo in Africa. People create zoos everywhere around the world. Even Serengeti, there are the wildebeest, you have crocodiles, you have zebra, you have giraffe, you have hippopotamus, you have elephants, you have um, hyena, kura, you have vultures, udele. All these things are there in the in the plains of the Serengeti. And then the British created another one. It's called Nigeria. It has Awosa Fulani in it. The pedophile terrorist Muhammadu Buhari on Wednesday regretted that the zoo's economy, economic growth has so far not translated into commensurate improved well-being of citizens, especially the youth. Buhari made the observation in his address at the 2015 International Youth Day with the okay. theme Youth Civic Engagement held inside the old banquet hall of the presidential villa in Abuja. 
He said that the issue was of serious concern to him because the situation was forcing youth to be migrating from rural to urban areas or from the zoo to other countries. Hold on, there, let's go. Uh, let's go. Very, very, like I said, I said I don't want to waste time today. Those that are um, clamoring for one Nigeria, I have a message for you. You know, we have been repeating the time without number uh, just to, for us to make sure that our voices are heard. Um, we keep on hammering it for you to wake up, for you to wake up to realize who you are, how they take you, and at the same time, the way Nigeria was formed. Many of you know, but it's just that you're lying to yourself. Nobody's a Nigerian, and I know you say it doesn't matter. Uh, our Nigeria sweet, uh, we must make it better. Many of you are living in the, in the, in the, in the, in the world of class Kukulan. Many of you, many of you. And um, you don't face reality, that's a problem. So many things have been, you know, a kind of illusion. You think about Nigeria will be fixed, but you don't know how. But all of us know that it can never be fixed. Muslim Americans have predestined in time with that number. Even white people, a lawyer, one of his lawyers who have dragged Mike to the court. I don't know whether autopilot will be able to post that because they have been attacking this lawyer uh, by the name Bruce Fenn. They have been attacking this lawyer. I hope they will not um, help to begin to spread such message. Um, the massacre that happened in Obibu, a white man have succeeded in trying to, you know, make sure that the voices of those people were heard. That's why Rocky Dube said not every black man is your brother and not every white man is your enemy. And the lawyer that the thief in Finland is dragging because of Biafra. In Hukwan, idiot with uh, Bruce Fenn. They managed to establish. Forget about that he's a white man. If you go and check about his antecedent, his achievement, even an agent that they own, for me to even mention his name, I mentioned the thief. It's an insult for me. I, I, I need to apologize. Normally, I don't supposed to mention his name together with this thief. No, nowhere. Bring the whole village together. So, this man is doing a good job. And um, as a white man, he is. And He's also so trying to explain to us that there are people, because whether you like it or not, American people are English. You know that, um, like, uh, like many of you have heard, one of the reasons why there's America today because of monarchy. They say to hell with this uh, lifestyle. Everybody must bow down to one man, one, one, one family. One, about the royal family. Queen Elizabeth family for how many years? They say to hell. So, they are English people. They are telling you people how they colonize you people. A white man is telling you as a black idiot. But you don't want to listen to. You say it doesn't matter. Now, the man has succeeded in dragging them. Um, I saw the tweet. Uh, the man has succeeded in them dragging them. Um, News on we to international criminal justice, you know. But our aim is to be a Friday solution. Anything can be happening within this period. All our our, our eyes restoration of Biafra. That's what that's our aim. But in as much as is our aim, things that is coming on, we also applauding those that are trying their best. Now look at the word demand. I have said I have I think I have played this here, here before, but for obedient, if you are watching, um I know your brain is not normal. I know you are you are your you your brain is being carried out emotionally. Let's support our own. Let's support. It's not my own. And my own, is it coming to ruin me? No, it's Nigeria. So Nigeria is not... Anybody that is telling you that I want to support Obi because it's our own, but I'm doing Biafra, you are a foolish idiot. You don't know don't know where, what you want. A president of Nigeria, and you are a Biafra, but it's your own. Your own is going to become a president of Nigeria, not president of Biafra. And you want to tell me, let us, let, let us support our own. Who tell you it's my own? Now watch. Careful evaluation of the merits of both sides. And I will say this, and this is true really, not only for Nigeria, but for all African countries. And it's not recognized with sufficient um, depth, I believe. All of the boundaries, virtually all, maybe he said, Ethiopia. He said all the boundaries. Ah, this man, you are, you are, you are, you are learned. He, he, he excluded Ethiopia. As many of you know, the only African country that, that, that were not colonized, Ethiopia. Nobody, no country colonized Ethiopia. It's the only one. So, since nobody colonized them, nobody draw the boundary for them. Their boundary has been there for years, for centuries, decades. Mazen Nambe can't explain these things now, time with that number. But you can't look like you're going to get into your chakul. You're going to get into your chakul. You're going to get into your chakul. And, and, and careful evaluation of the merits of both sides. And I will say this, and this is true really not only for Nigeria,
but for all African countries. And it's not recognized with sufficient um, depth, I believe. All of the boundaries, virtually all, maybe Ethiopia and Liberia exception, but virtually every other boundary, including Nigeria, they were drawn by European despots in Berlin over a century ago. They weren't drawn for any uh, uh, benefit for the indigenous people. They're drawn because they had guns and they were going to take it over. What makes these boundaries so sacrosanct? You're saying that the British get to draw your boundaries with no input from you, really. <laughs> let me laugh now. Let me laugh. How do you want to you man, you know white people are very smart in reasoning. If you, if you go, go and ask those that have children born here, whether white or black, in in Western world, if you see how your children will be asking you question. I remember when I when I was here I knew. That was that time my cousin was uh, is it um, that time he's um, is it eight years or so or seven years? We were on the table eating. He called the mom and asked and asked the, the mom. When was the first time you have your first boyfriend? I'm a young I said, Why are you asking such question? <laughs> He's asking to know when will he be ripe for him to do his own. And I know they ask now. Many of you that are women now, you can live in your house. Your mother will not even tell you how to use pad. Some of you, your father will not even teach you about condom, how to protect yourself and how to abstain from women. Because they, will, they are so timid. They will not speak. They are timid to talk about it. They will use church to cover it up. It's a sin. It's a sin. It's an abomination. It's a sacrilege. You go to hellfire. You don't teach the implication. The white man is telling you people that, really? I love how he looks. He's like, really? You can allow something created by a white man? He's talking himself. So that's why nobody should blame them. Nobody should blame them, please. Nobody should blame them. They just get to draw your boundaries with no input from you, really. And that's the boundaries you want to defend? Yes. So that's why I believe, although there's a prudential reason not to have every boundary up for grabs all the time, because you need some stability, there shouldn't be any sacredness by it. And you know, we always hear this slippery slope argument. Well, if you prevent one secession, then the entire continent will become unglued. Well, when South Sudan seceded from Sudan, the entire continent did not become unglued. Correct. You know, every case is unique. Every case is different. Correct. It was said also, when Bangladesh seceded from Pakistan in 1970, oh, all of India is going to come unglued. The whole exactly. South Asia exactly. is coming unglued. Exactly. No, it didn't. Because the cases are different and unique. It's unique. The case of it's unique. You are correct, sir. The case of Biafra is unique. Other countries are unique. Don't expect what happened there to happen in your own. You remember those days they used to South Sudan to give us example. Are they using it again? They are doing well now. This is the Mugwagi the currency. South Sudan is doing more better than Nigeria. We have our people from there uh, that are living there. Somebody have called me there before and I, I was asking him the exchange rate. You know, before they will tell you, uh, uh, why you want to say, you go and look at South Sudan. Look at South Sudan that just divided. They are still at war. South Sudan uh, is an example of it. And when, when was it South Sudan now? We close already them out. Can I was now, let us leave as one. Uh, God has brought us together. Uh, we, we have to leave. And you know, united we stand. That's a cultural, you know, we have a different culture. That's a diversity. Cultural diversity. Can you just imagine? Say, our Samari, you would use how beautiful it is. You deceive many of you. The white man is telling you, really? You allow boundary created by a white man, really? And you are still telling you that that boundary is sacrosanct. Somebody created something for you. And you are governizing it, shouting, obedient, obedient. Say, say, uh, uh, the, this struggle and the, and the structure is holding us. I'm the poor Nagia. I'm at this position here, but I'm an again with failure. So I'm not going to add anything. So that guy, and, and I, I we will look, your, you look at you people like this when the time comes. This is what the man said here. Hmm? The Biafra is a unique it's case. A unique, it's a unique Every case, case in, 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 in Africa really is given the colonial heritage there. Um, and so there needs to be a recognition. No, it doesn't mean the end of nation states. It means you have an adjustment because the, the, the discrepancy between popular will and sentiment and, 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 and culture from one people to another has become so acute that it's going to be preferable for everybody to just separate peacefully 
You can have trade. You can have other cordial relations. But they got to have separate sovereigns. Um, and there's nothing antithetical about that. But I underscore that every Nigerian should ask themselves, what is sacred about a boundary drawn by the British? Over a century ago, with no input from a single African anywhere. Time. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's quite a, serious. Finally, uh, just... Uh, it was a hard job. Do you understand what he asked? He said, I don't know. Do you, maybe, do you understand the other? What is sacrosanct in a boundary drawn by white men? In apostrophe, no contribution from your forefathers. Or maybe you don't have forefathers. You should know that. Maybe your forefathers were not living there. They, they are not in existence when they when they came to draw the boundary. That is what he, he said. No impute. That, that is the worst. If at all the white people came together, they gather our forefathers, even if it's by force. Say, oh, yeah, sign. They sign. I, I, let us see at least they, they sign, maybe by, by force. This one, nobody cared for them. Nobody, nobody contacted them. They were just doing it on their own and say, Nigeria. If I talk, you tell me I um, support my own. OB, OB is our own. Support my own. Okay, moon now. And when it will happen, I got happen no. When they feel it, when I feel it, we have feel the pain a lot. Bia France has been, especially IPOD, we have been feeling the the heat. They have slaughtered us now many times because of this. And now people are still going in the same direction. This is the last one I have to play before I go. Like I told many of you. Ah, uh, where is it? Where is it? This is um this same thing with this Mazen Namika. I think Mazen Namikano they learn a lot from him. But I know people are not normal in this country. I know. I know. But just you know if you are speaking, you also ask yourself, the way you are reasoning is not the way others are reasoning. You have to understand that that is the number one concept you're supposed to hold in your hand. The mentality of those who are following up, they are not the same with those that are not following up. The mentality then who, who is to be blamed? Does whoever created us have power to make us reason at the same pace? Yes. And who, who did they say they created? They say it's God. Okay, if God have the power to make up reason in the same pace, why are people not um, reasoning and bringing something that will alleviate their people? Or are they enjoying and I'm seeing it as suffering? Okay, if the creator does, doesn't have the doesn't have the power to make us reason in the same place. Then why is everybody honoring him? Why are they paying allegiance to him? Because I didn't we are reasoning in the same. That's why we need people that have the same way of reasoning to be in one particular enclave to govern themselves. Not to have people reasoning differently, and they want to become one country. You know, so that is why. Well, I know people are not normal in Nigeria. People are not normal. Social media. There are lots of people dealing with psychosis that call themselves prophets. <laughs> it's true. This thing I'm saying. And you see, it's because we don't have enough psychologists in the country. Like you said, 100 psychologists last time. <laughs> people are dealing with midlife crisis, yeah. high level of psychosis. Yes. But they're not People are not normal. People are not normal at home. I'm... I'm I have to thank those that have invented this uh, internet, especially social media, to know what is going on on the other side. If you see what people like, sometimes you begin to wonder, what is so fun about this? You will see people doing prank with women, old women, and people are laughing. And if you go there and come and say, why are they doing these things now? This is not normal. How how are going to work in it? See, my friend, go and get out. You don't bring your nonsense energy here now. Can't we laugh? They made a woman to fall on the ground. An old woman. In the name of prank. Look at her here. Look at her here. Hey, Megan, all prank. Let me see if I will be able to see that. Um, it's, it's too big. Let me let me see if I can. They, they call it prank. And it's, it, for them, it's funny. It's funny for them. It's normal for them. Prank, you put electric 
electrifying in the phone, you throw it on the ground. You don't know whether the person wants to pick it to come and give it to you. Immediately you pick it, you press it, the he'll all, all his all her goose. Look at it on the ground. And they laugh, people laugh over it. They laugh, they laugh, they laugh over it. So the environment, that's why I told many of you, the environment is different. The environment to live play a very big role in, in the way you behave. That is why IPO being in Germany and IPO being in Italy, they're not the same. I mean, when I'm talking the same, I'm not talking about the structure. I'm talking about the personality, individual characters. Can't be the same. The mental reason is different because environment also play a major role in reshaping the way you think. Those of them that are living in Nigeria, you know how my argument give 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 all about. So that's why I told many of you, don't take it personal. All these things you see, you take it personal. Now, you know, like we said in this struggle. Why we are having a, a, a had it been our people are highly intelligent, had it been we are highly educated, we will, will not be worried about autopilot. We will not be worried. Who, who cares? Because people can listen. If you bring them something, they'll ask you a question. If you bring them something, they will think about it and say, no, this can't be true. But because we have a high level of illiteracy, a high level of bumbling dullard due everywhere in the struggle. I've showed you the one that comes as now because of phone now. I begin to ask him, I want to call you. Uh, which is the number that we used to call the Dobia. But you are calling the radio. And he said you're not hearing your voice. So we have people like that in their great number. And that is why you see autopilot as if they are they exist. It's because of the level of illiteracy in our place is too high. It's too high. Normally, eh, normally, if you can be able to know what I'm talking about the level of illiteracy, eh. Every day you'll be drinking champagne, thanking whoever that made you for you to come out of that level. It's not easy. It's not easy. Now look at this um, post. And we have propaganda. A pure propaganda that cannot bring anything in this struggle. A pure propaganda that does not add up anything. And if you see people have shared this thing, they have up to 1,600 people have shared it. Uh, look at it here. Where is it? Where is it? And I want to ask you, many of you watching, what is the benefit of this lie? What is the benefit of this lie? How many shared it? How many? How many? Let me see if people have shared it. How many? Is it uh, how many? Okay, this one is not. Uh, I thought uh, uh, 52,000 people have watched it, and um, whether it's 1,600 1, or so have shared it. Watch this now. You are going to watch. I want to. I want you to tell me. How does this thing add up to what we are doing as freedom fighters? You see an old man that are dragging with a girlfriend or whoever. You put it that is a Joey Bokwe. Now look at what Joey, break, breaking news. Joey Bokwe exposed. Look at how, what, look at the, um, let me show you the, the caption. This is the caption. And the caption and what the people. Joey Bokwe has been exposed. He's going to court. He's going to jail time. He's going to, for, for beating the wife. Where is it? Where is it? And people will say, yeah, oh, Biafra is here. Biafra is here. Aye. Oh. And that's why Mas now the country say we need to continue educating our people. One uh, illiteracy, John Joe Brothers. All the, that's all the very I and we a lot of job to do. Look at it here. Look at the caption, brothers. Breaking news. Joey Boko exposed could face jail time for domestic violence. Let me take this in closely. Breaking news. And the aide could Biafra. So people that know that this is not Joe Bokwe, when they see Biafra and they say propaganda machine, uh, this is a Biafra, a they may not know what we are facing. And that is the reason why I'm telling you about the mechanism to checkmate people that are sabotaging this talk in one word. Breaking news. Joe Bokwe exposed could face jail time for domestic violence. Can you plan? Can you plan? You will do it let us let us watch. Could face jail time for domestic violence. Here are the news in details. details. Wonderful people of their fan of us of freedom all over the world. You are welcome once again to do it. Let me, let me, the end of Bakasi Odo, the father of Nyamodo. I be doing for Biafan. Why you hitting me? Why are you hitting me? You hit me. You hit me first. Get from me! Take, 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 take. Okay, you, you hit me! 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 You hit
Colossus. You hit me, I hit you back. Me believe. Hit me, I hit you back. No, hit you again. Hit me again. No, no, you hit me first. You hit me again. Yeah. You hit me again. No, that gets you go. Tell me to come pick you up. I am out of my lot. I have their job. <laughs> I have their job from a gun machine. Uh, I know Joey Boko has never been good to our struggle. Uh, I mean, propaganda is part of freedom fighting. I agree. But I want mean, propaganda and M. And I want M. I make propaganda. For example, now. For example, Mazen Nam, the Canada that is in DSS custody. There is a need for us to be continuing shouting. Yeah, you, know, you know, we have. We have. It is not propaganda anyway. It is called double crossing. You double cross. Maybe you say uh, there's a plan now. There's a plan. They want to ambush Mazen Nam the Kano on the court uh, on his way to court. Um, uh, there's information that leak now. They are, the way they are maltreating Mazen Nam the Kano in DSS custody, uh, he cannot breathe now. Anyone, anyone, reason for that? You may not have the fact in your hand, but anyone reason so that if these people have in mind to ambush, they will say they have said it to let us not try it because they know what we want to do. So, oh yeah, when you hear propaganda is part of freedom fighting, oh yeah, but you double cross so the plans of enemy ahead. Not this kind of cheap popularity. Jerry Boko may, may, fa may face jail time. In uh, what he said in, the, in ISIS. I'm going to tell you, okay, okay, okay Jerry, Jerry Boko exposed could face jail time for domestic violence. And then you can have your friend, and I am the gun that now, and one have machinery, and they check me, the people that are using, oh, the good thing, you know, here, and I give it with a name, even ordinary, Boko Haram. Hey, give it. Is it, is it called impersonation? Even I'm in the MSF military. Nigerian military, he, he, he gave with their, their uniform. Then he give be here. Because it means that you can use that, their uniform, to commit atrocity. When you sign on a Ochicho Nyokuchi and I hear how peaceful agitation, freedom fight, democratic Ochicho, Mazenar can't sign on my hug and make a Biafra again. Look at it here, look at, look at it. And them, look here, break it. People eat bread and people not right here. Hey, KS Hogan, KS, eh, thank God, Biafra is here. Biafra is here. We, we move. We are autopilot, we move. Don't hit me again. No, you hit me. Don't hit me again. Don't hit me. They are in my space. Don't hit me. 1,900 people shared and jubilating. Some put love because Jibuko is going to jail for domestic violence. But how do you? That's, uh, this is a blogger anyway. He's a blogger. I understand them. He's a blogger. So many things need to be done. Mazen Nam cannot put out my video question. I'm going to take you with this question in the past. What are we doing to checkmate the sabotaging? What are we going to do? Because that is where there's a problem. What are we going to do to curtail this? They are not hiding. Many of them are in the open. They are not hiding. So, okay, you don't have your friend now. Not our money. Tells. Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome once again to Biafra United Channel slash television. This <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. And we're going, it's okay. Uh, now, here, Nigeria, Nigeria, we are testing their parachute today. Now, we're going to have a country of, uh, of, uh, of uh, movie. I saw them today with their parachute. Le kwen de test a parachute. Brother le kwen. My good route. Parachute don't hang for three for Abuja. As in the practice for Nigerian independence celebration. Actually, him a can daughter. Eh, eh, him a can parachute. Ke, 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 hang yale ni le kwen. Oh, hang yale ni le poli le trik. Omwe, omwe. Omwe, omwe. Le kwen, le kwen, which is. This is how the man of God that you why are they even doing this thing for goodness sake? Parachute and Dokka Sachala, look at. The thing that Dokka, or even, the thing that Dokka laughed from before he is with yourself. Can you problem with that? You say that they are not the same country. Look at that, 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 look at
Nigeria. Nigeria. Oko, I I why do you even do this thing for goodness sake? Can't hang your hand, can't hang your hand, Oh, I wish I was the one that captured him. I didn't know where he landed. On the tree, see if I see, see love. Why are they, oh? Nigeria army, and Brothers, you we are trying. Ah. At least, if we do it again, after all, a room was not built in a day. Why are you people laughing at them? We are trying. Before you know it now, look at America. How many years now? America is 200 or something. It's small, 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 small. No time to catch your own You may parachute. He an independent day. On what will only hunt? On what will only so all Muru here can I hunt a struggle? Then the quick another film. Eh, eh, film can the quick new culture people how to, how to off light. Kill one away fire extinguisher. All culture people how to off fire. The quick, the quick time. Your wind direction. Uh -huh. It is very, very important. Your wind. Very, very important. They might have any other layer at you. Direction. You always try to attack the fire from the back. Oh, yeah. It's because if you are facing the fire and you scream, the oh. fire can jump on you. Oh, yeah. So you have to go to the back and bench. Uh, but if you are there. Okay, hold on. Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. I can cover up, and I can see because the the wind is coming from the latitudinal direction because of the cosmogony of microcosm. So that is why. That's the reason why upon many of you that are graduating from civil engineering department, road construction, you can't do every blessed use. I got America to, or I mean Germany to go and or Austria here to go and bring Strabag or Julius Berger. If since 1980 something, only when we graduate those that are studied civil engineering in the direction of road construction. So you mean those people that graduate in that have no experience on how to construct road? You have to go all the way to Germany. Do you know what it means to transport equipment? Most of the equipment that I used to work is from Germany. I can see Germany fly down to Nigeria. You mean the when they got on the road? All the natural resources, all the resources used in building road is in Nigeria. Everything, bitumen, no asphalt, quota, concrete, whichever one you want, any type of road you need, cement, everything. But they will still leave them, leave the graduates, leave the professors of civil engineers, engineering, travel all the way to Lebanon to go and bring drop out Lebanese. Are they how many? I saw for Kanana Matisela. I went to interview in Arusi Construction Company in Abuja. Brother, I won't hear your name, cool. I won't hear your name, cool. It's okay. The people are there. They have a call in your name. I saw because of the wind. Because of the wind, they fired you. Okay. 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 Okay.
The reason why they fire didn't cry because of the wind. <laughs> so, so without wind, they get it. I didn't know that. How far air can you They because the fire didn't cry because of the wind. Foolish people. It's okay. It's okay, brothers. It's okay, All Nigeria. What's the man? Can't do so one one. I pay up one one one. One one one. We we. I pay one zoo. One bawa. One one one. One one complain. One. The man my hold you say about how zoo. We buy one one one. Such a better opportunities. The pedophile terrorist, however, promised that his administration will do everything within his capacity. It is called the gate, what is it called? It's called the gate receipts or whatever. The orders coming into the factories for manufactured goods. That way you can predict the trend of employment. I want to ask Buhari, which sector of the economy are you expressing this growth? Is it in the sector of appointment of Liars. corrupt judges Liars. to go and preside over electoral tribunals is it in the sector of moving money abroad is it in the sector of i can't understand what they're talking about where is the growth you're talking about the the that hasn't been translated into why do you people love lying the economy of the zoo is shrinking you sell only one product to make money that product is crude oil nobody is buying your crude oil angola has overtaken you gabon has overtaken you even in Yam, Ghana is at the head of you. In Pamoyo, Malaysia. So which sector of the economy is growing, I'm asking you? Oh, dear me. Maybe importation of um, spare parts. Who knows? I don't know. Do you see how they lie to you? These are the people you claim have, they are bringing change, 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 but they are liars. Why should Bukhari stand up and lie to little children, little youths? He's addressing. Why? That tells you all you need to know about them. That tells you everything you need to know about these vagabonds and evil people. Everything you need to know, I assure you. Evil men. Evil, evil, evil men. They, they are liars. Which part of the economy is growing? Which part of it, please tell us. Oil sector? Are you not the ones complaining about the falling oil prices? Are you not a member of OPEC? You are overproducing your own quota. Is that not correct? To hold on to your market share. America no longer buys oil from you. Neither does Canada. Your greatest market now is India. Is that not correct? Oh dear me. You can lie, but Radio Biafra is here to expose you. So all that Buhari, change, change, change. Buhari is an honest man. Buhari is a liar. Look at him lying to small children. They train them from very young to lie and to deceive people. But we are here to correct all that anomaly, sure. all that nonsense. Sure. If you're an IPOB family member, if we catch you lying, you'll be dismissed. No second chance. We are obedient, law abiding people, the children of heaven. We speak the truth. If we are protecting you, we know how to protect you. Never ever lie. It was saying you are finished. We are not breeding young men and women to become liars of tomorrow. We want you to be leaders of tomorrow, not liars of tomorrow. A South African online media outfit, Mail and Guardian Africa, came after the zoo on Tuesday, saying that was yesterday. The money eaten in the zoo. Okay, I'll, let me put them verbatim. The money eating there. Leave them there. Leave them there. I think I have to allow you to roll after my program. Brothers and sisters, let me use the language of the Christianity. Things are happening. Things are happening. Things are happening. Things are happening that, um, I don't know. Things are about that normally we're not supposed to be fighting for freedom now. Hand question, emancipation of our mentality. I'm not going to say yes. I'm going to let us fight for freedom. 
Watch this now. Watch this. Watch this, brothers. No, get in our big one. I mean, how so are we talking about religion? Let Bible and let Bible Facebook, my own. I'm sorry that I played this. Okay. Oh no, I'm a I'm a freedom. Do you, you don't know why I go into church, Lady John? Unama. Not to talk about this morning like a new on the OG Bible. Now see, ah, then what is not what's not said. You don't know why we are talking about this mentality. No idea. Ah. Oh, you your side. Oh, you your side, brothers. And we a lot of them. And we a lot of them. And we a lot of what is going on in our place. Ranging from superstitious belief. What I'm not here now. Somebody give me a name. I'm in condition. No, say me to say you must come back and marry me. Mentality is not change. Fear na yana. Fear fear na yana. Ufo. Fear fear na yana. If I go to the game, you go to 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 Freedom is what we need now. So that's why this thing is very hard. That's why this journey is hard. If everybody is reasonably normal, things are going to be so hard like that. Everybody will go to you. Okay, Lord, go to you. That's a matter of matter. You're you're most on your own. You're all going to go back to where you should be. You're going to start setting. Eba eba eba. I woke up by force. Nigga, I don't want you. And when they want you to meet, yes, I don't want to marry. Here, pop and play. Uh, I don't even want to meet, yes, I want to marry, but I don't want to have children. I'm going to have to do my wish. So, our mentality and you can. That is why autopilot succeeded in taking so many morons. And that's why the not, their aspiration will also come to reality. Because anyway, a lot of Stark illiterate in Nigeria. Had it been they have majority of people that are sensible, they would have think about it. But uh, why are you talking about not again? But not has been ruling now, and the uh, things is bad for us. Uh, but can't we now try something else? No, they don't reason like that. They don't reason like you reason. I think Mas Nam can say something about that. I don't know what I do. I recorded it. Let me see if I recorded it. They said we are called foolish because they came to our place now and um, we bought into, we bought into, I think uh, maybe let me not, um, if I begin to look for it, you know, I'll take him time. It's it. bigger than the gross domestic product of 38 African countries. That is the, when they say the money eating, it means the money stolen by Buhari and their friends. Look at Babangida. He's a national leader and an elite icon. Look at Abbasanjo. He's an elite. He's an icon. Open this worship. 
Look at Tinubu, he's a national leader. For the structure to help them. To help him gain power. Baba Ngida. Baba Sanjama is not a way you want. Many of you are saying, Baba, Baba. Many of you forget history so easily. They don't kill my papa, then mama, I said they don't kill my mama, then papa, I mean mama, you know why they sing that song? On all the the history of Odi community. In I think in Brutu, the local government. Or by state. If I'm not mistaken. Or by Sanjo level that area. Level it. Now it's become inherited as so as we this country must move forward as if we have never ruled before. And the way they deceive many of you, I don't understand. The way you people run around somebody, even normally article of Tabi Megan, on a normal circumstances, on when you support article, somebody at Kiara for vice president for complete eight years on an organ, a country of 250 million. One person. He will advise for eight years. He will be able to again to become president. Tinibu will be a governor, war senate. Baba Mwani will be senate. War will be able to become president. It can only happen in a place where the citizens are pure cowards. Had they been there are doing something good, they couldn't know it. If they have a good aspiration, or maybe. Because of what they have done before. It's okay, no problem. What have Atiku done? He's in charge of importing generator. Yes, I know you tell me, yeah, you have been, we, are, we have generator in Aba. Our generator is on. It's because of uh, Tinibu. I mean, because of Atiku. If not Atiku now, we will not have generator. The amount will not ask them, but the other places are having electricity. So, what, what do we need generator for? You know, I, I told many of you that our brain, the way we listen, are not the same. It's not the same. After all, um, autopilot are begging them, um, the musicians, to sing, use the name of someone about to sing music. How would you call that? How their brain are? Somebody that is dedicating his music free. Man, a music with spirit. Man, a music who you get people that are, I'm not talking about those that are talking jargons on the street in the name of music. Music is inspiration. Not a bad idea. Why you need to keep pushing? Why are you music? You think about how say we pay a tiga? Let's hear here. They should remove them and put some money. Good morning. Good morning. That's how to for them. That's how to get to be a friend. Or uh, Obi the IPOP. They are with the Obi only choro. He batego. He batego. Because uh, they are into this struggle because of money. Am I? Am I? I'm going to another believer. Autopilot are autopilot infiltrator. They are in this struggle for monetary purposes. One of them is Colin. That's all we go. I need. You need to make a balance. You need to make money. IPOP. Yeah, with the Obi, only Choro, you Matego, because only one that need removing train and Agaga, they were the runner by Niger. Only one need removing train and Agaga. Eh, I'm a beer fracker, I'm watching a cake. I mean, I say, Naya, we end out of pilot, Naya, on the DOS, I have on the IPOB. No, may I not have we him Kiggy, he him Kiggy, you want your beer fra. As for me to remove Biafra, Wanyike, not a pilot. Why they are not playing it is that I say, get him this year, go play under his theory. Oh, play now, how will you send a conductor pilot? Has some money to do the play it. And how will you pay as a condition before I'm a boy? Yes, get him this year, go play under his theory. I'll go so sad and not the call, not the call that you eat it. Fine. Any need it here and now they can call it too legit so that you know this okay okay because he will the same thing this uh, infiltrator is doing yeah what hala has now we can learn from his brokers on your wall matter those that those that are you know you know in biafra land i i have to be honest we have a lot of us that are, their brains are smelling 
if 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 you can go closer to them you will begin to perceive the order of their smell so these are the people that are still there now they don't they have never realized what is going on this is not a matter of them um, they are doing it purposely no only the people they don't know they don't know what is going on the only thing they need to hear you shouting oh hey biafra Muslim, the cannon must come out we must get biafra now nigeria must die by fire just these three things you need to be shouting we must destroy nigeria Muslim, the cannon must come out oh hey biafra oh hey these three things you can be doing your underground deadly job they don't listen off they don't think about your actions they don't think about you know just what plus and minus now uh what is his name um lawyer the bruce Fenn now have secure a case of um week and the, his massacre on our people they will not share it they will not project it they won't this is how to tell you the idiocy in them they don't want anything that is moving actually on downfall of this struggle so even if you go to them and tell them they will tell you eh, that one has nothing eh, is it what we are looking for what we need is biafra eh, if you like it take me to court is it biafra the same thing now the wife of mazin american who spoke they say it doesn't matter now eh, when do we know the wife of my the wife of mandela do i know her why are you coming here to be the time we need peace you are not coming to put to an enmity Look at it, they train the guy to remove the name of um Abalance. Let's see where Pahan does. She can make one You are a strong man. At least for you to speak out. Ogoso Sahan Nandekalo. Nandekalo ki ichidi. Fine. Ogwani ni ichok ziye ko move. I am very well. Ki inwete go ki. Ki isi were chok. Ichok inwete go ko move. I am very well. Inwete go ki isi chok. Money. They are into money. Oya o heji. Inwete a lot of bloggers. Bloggers now block news, and do you know why it is easy for them to get bloggers? I have to be honest, they are not paying the bloggers, but the bloggers are using the fake news and propaganda to make their own money. That's their job. That's the job. Just put mass in another kind of picture, they are talking nonsense. Then those people that are their brain are smelling, that are also part of you in Biafra land, they will share. Hey, hey, hey autopilot are doing something good, though. just like a um, military saw their Waterloo in Anambra. Now, this idiot has come out and say, no military will kill and go free. No politicians will kill and go free. Somebody will say, nah, nah, this autopilot are doing something. To... It's them that did that thing now. We move, we move. If, if not because of Simon Eba, eh, Odogu, Odogu, right on. <laughs> you, want to, you want the U.S. to do something like that, and they come out and announce what they have done? No. You want somebody to have this struggle in mind to do something and come out? No. Such a thing is not something to claim responsibility. I will go check out. I will go check out. I will go check out. I will For those of you that don't understand Igbo, I will go check out. I will go check out. Go and look for interpreter. If you go inside the bush, Oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, oh, smartness. He got any more here. Do you hit the drum? He put on the video. I said, now, who is doing that himself? Now, let you allow us to let us have peace. You need to move and move. I will go check out. The only people that claim responsibility are all these I see. Boko Haram. And when it's in the middle of the night, claim, like, when something happened here, they reclaim their responsibility. No, how? So, I have a hand on that this talk for them to remain relevant. I say, weapon here, you can't have your corner guy, I can't make his money. I'm going to eat your chance here, go move, I am very well. Can you take a look at this? Because something that comes down to play, if you have to carry it, you can have it, if you have to go, you can get your guy, you get your guy, you can 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 get Itinere aha nda itinye aha Simon na homada mostly aha mazin na de kalim mostly mostly I love that I love that iwe pa hamazin na de kano there those morons non all they will realize it easily it's not easy to have sense you think it's easy to have sense no it's not easy it's not easy. It's not it's very hard to be reasonable if you are reasonable you go and they begin to drink beer 
the best the best thing you'll be praying for in life is Akonuja. I think um Docker might use it to sing music. Akonuja. If you have Akonuja, you have everything in life. So the morons now that are brain and smelling that are still in their front that are still confused. Hanumas and the canon are they go no someone never we move. We move. He's doing a good job. Can't you see? He say he, he's preaching about the downfall of Nigeria now. He say we want Biafra. Is he preaching about election? No. He's talking about no election in Biafra land, and the US are not talking anything. So he's the one that is working. So we never blame those people. We have majority of people that their brains are smelling. A lot of people that if you begin to go closer to them, you vomit. I can't know what British don't did to us in the past. We can't progress. No development, no education. The, the one they brought us is to make us coward. Nonsense. Religion topple with it. So if you have woken up off by the grace of two garden, also chalk on him make him on have an evidence to prove to you that they are not oh God can have a I, I agree with him. Oh. I agree with him. He said that other names he have put in, like the US them, and Mass Nam the can that he's not making money. So you are talking with your guy, I go make him more money. Where by hand your hat here, home mother. He got hit here, home mother. I had a thief in Finland. Then a gun is shared with the Muslim name, the canon name. It's not that the people get a guy, half or a chora leg. This one days, that's not part of my Nigerian government. It's so that they destroy the names of those people. Can they not go mad? I'm going to go mad. 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 I'm going you see, I'm, it's true. Look at since I've been doing this thing with the IPOB, the man, the mass, and the kind of DOS. I've never gotten shish. Now, now I just oh, look at the name I change, and I get three million. Now, someone, but you know what you are doing. We move. Oh, oh, hey, there's so many people. If we have now another one, but we have to take it easy with them. Their brains are smelling. Their brains. That's why I told many of you, we need mechanism to hunt them down. You know, I've been saying it. Many people have been calling me, my uh, I love your program, but that's, take it easy. No, we need to unite. Uh, that's the only thing that I, you are missing in you. You are good, but just take it easy so that um, we, we try to educate others. In other words, you don't understand our people. If you are watching me here, you're an IPO member, and you are living with these people, and you don't do anything, you are a fool. Hunt them down. Only, only, only mistake. Can I say one woman? Come for me on mistake. I bought them that particular program that day. On one day, pick me. Mass is not trying to pick a call. Only one guy has a saw 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 a free from France or saw Italy. No one not up a lot. Oh, free from a actor, actor. When do we have all here? No, just as we are saying, now we should do this as organ. Even if I, yeah, mom, Gia, hunt it down. What the parents is all idiot. Out of power to Mr. Nati, the parents are baby boy, I feel that in the decrease. Even I were born on who not get again healthier. I told you about suffocate here. God, the people saw is a wasted soul. I'm telling us all now, Pampa say we need to. My mother told you that question. We need to consider. We need to consider. You are not all the way. You are not a Western world. You are going to be a game. This deceit now, it is initially that I will agree, but now, and you are still there now. You you have never woken up. Then something in there, and I demand to be one of us. Who tell you said our brother? Lucky Dube. Not every white man is an enemy. Not every black man is a brother. Look, we are sitting weapon here. Nah, how much are they? We mostly are Mazin and the Kalu. We are not using it to get the one. Not get here, not get here. Kuri ku, then get here, get here. Mama, get here. Kwa hongo kwa. Eh, our rogue Jiraka was submitted a pilot and autopilot. Oka Neji Choroka Mojakam submitted, send the Aramia Mjakam submitted Regia. One day, Egoga was no Bodo Ibo. I know you on another load, you go. In terms of the send them on another load, yeah, but this is the correction hanging him. You know, they were an on yours, they were an on the autopilot or the wounded US. Our tall brother, our time not here now. This struggle must come from your mind. For you to achieve it, I want to thank all of you. I want to thank all of you. <laughs> I want to thank all of you. Yes, we are going to do so. Tiga ha the thief in Finland. Kona agaga. Ha choga hiya ne me o i service. Ha we i service. Only many of us on one run at this struggle for years. 
if not because of uh, one thing or the other. Mazen Namli can, uh, I mean the uh, CHK, the man there that um, finance CHK Nuke, our Hamad Cheka. CHK. That's how I am here. I'm Mazen Namli can just not force or buy him. The Kenya go say, Boah. As a war hana, it ya has so that can have put anana. Brother, lay, 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 come, I'm going, I'm going. I'm going. So I'm going with a lot of problem. Mazen Namli can a potagama go say, Freedom the grandma, freedom the ma. Uh, okay, let us be combining it. That's the only way we can fight for freedom. But if you cannot, if you can say keep religion, then after Biafra, we fight religion. I will not agree. It's not possible. It's not an agent that wrong. You can't get Biafra without destroying the mentality. You can't. You can't, brothers. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Look at witchcraft, brothers. Look at witchcraft. Brother. No man can stay with you, okay. last with you, okay. to be trouble upon trouble. Okay. Who Le are you living with? The crowd, the witchcraft. Eh? Okay. My sister. My sister. There is a witchcraft attack long ago, and they took over you. Okay, honey. They okay. took over you. Honey. Men come to you, okay. and they, are, they use their face to flog them. Chai. How? Eh? Yes. Speak to me. Do Chai. you hear what I said? I didn't hear, sir. Who brought you here? Eh? Our neighbor, when? How many times have you come? Eh? Up to six times. Six times. You come on Tuesday or Wednesday or, or Sunday? Yes, day, always. For six times now? Mm. Yes. Ah. Your neighbor that brought you, is she here? Eh? No. Have we seen before? Le, le. No, the Ajoa have we seen before? Who no matter what arrangement? Oh, yeah, the thing. Have we seen before? When? Mm. I see no. Have I seen you before in my office? Okay, honey, no, sir. Eh? No, sir. Have me and you talked before? Okay, honey. Eh? No, no, sir. Sir. no, sir. You say you have come to testify before? Uh, On the earth? Yes, sir. Ah. Mm. About your father. Now, the Lord will say, do you want to be set free? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes. yes. You know what happened? Okay, well, Somebody they wish you long ago. Okay, honey, how? And what they do is that any man that comes to you, your face will be flogging that person. <laughs> and that is why. <laughs> and they say they are fighting for freedom. They say, they say we should continue and leave religion out of it. <laughs> I say witchcraft. Witchcraft is flogging other people. If the husband are coming, the witchcraft will be flogging. I many Many of them are prison. what what we did This is what the life our forefathers have been living. And I've been living peacefully. Matching in a Monday, Monday, Tuesday. More got you Thursday. Eke the eke. Eke on eke. Everybody living peacefully. Peacefully. I tell you. Go and ask. The man the man who must have handwork or okay, to marry without uh, you don't have anything. The man who have a handwork, maybe a ban of young and farming. Women are working together in harmony. This one now, jealousy is everywhere. <laughs> my man. Who touch my man? Instead of them to tell yourself the truth, hey, create a kind of hookup. And when you hook up, I'm not Very useless people. Instead of them to call it a prostitute, has a hookup. Uh, uh, would you like to do friendship or hookup? I was making, I, even when I was watching this one on um, all this their Facebook, I began to ask myself, it took me time to know what is hookup. Do you prefer hookup or relationship? Uh, I, I prefer relationship. Why? Because uh, I want to know the person. What of you? I, I prefer hook up. I don't want anything, anybody to break my heart. I rebrand that and it has been rebranded to hook up. You know, my one, look at the crowd. Look at the crowd. Look at the crowd. If you are looking at this crowd, you are seeing autopilot mentality. Because they are based in their religion. Look at them here. Look at them. Crowd! Not there. 
and they have believed that all witchcraft. And before you know it, now this idiot, I don't know why she's fallen. Yeah, because I, okay. you are today like this. Anytime a man come want to be serious, the person will have a dream. A dream. Where they are using your face, they will not even tell you they will stop coming. Do you want to be delivered? Okay, look here, look here. Up one, up one, up one, up one, up one. I'm taking the possession. I'm taking the possession. Up one, up one, up one, up one. But today, the yoke will be broken. Amen. Amen. Follow me. Do you want to be set free? No, sir. I'm going to tell you the free. I'll tell you the free. Yes, sir. Do you still believe you can go to your home? Huh? Yes, sir. Do you really? Yes, sir. Somebody mm, bewitch you long ago. It's okay. It's okay. Because your life then was not good. <laughs> I want to say last Sunday. Yeah, yeah, last Sunday. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be open your secret very well. Come. <laughs> Do you have a child? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you have a child? A child, a child, woman. Do you have a child? And that child looks like a boy. And that boy is no longer alive. Eh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you have a child? Yes, sir. 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 I have a friend that is an agent to these people. They will go and convince you to come to the church. And they have already told the pastor your relation, how you are. And they, maybe he convinced you to start going. One day they will come to your seat and bring you up and begin to tell you about you. As morons you are, you begin to shiver. Oh, oh that's why I told many of you. It is because of um, environment. Their crowd, their crowd, full of Asian parasites, and you say we should do this struggle without talking about religion. And when, and when you, you know why, you know why I don't, you know why I hate these people. To the court, you know why they can't debate. Is there any of you that are here and that believe in this? Can you call me? No, no, can you call me? And tell me how this thing function, witchcraft. What, many people have been burnt alive in the name of witchcraft. Hungry people, you know, they know that. Hunger can make you become mentally disabled. You don't know. Frustration and stress. If you have too much stress like this, it will enter your brain. You begin to behave like a mad person. You don't know. You don't know that thinking, too much thinking. Hey, Poverty, frustration, and the backwardness. Hopelessness combined together. If you don't talk, you cannot even have time to bath. You begin to smell. You don't even have time to change your clothes. You become stuck, dirty. Sometimes you begin to climb, climb TV. Out of frustration. If you see a space, you climb, you climb. Just find somewhere and climb. And when they see you, they say, look at you. He, I, they will formulate stories. Only Nigerian society, they can stay one place and formulate story immediately. I, I, saw, I saw you where he's flying. He just, I saw him now, he hung there. He said, hey, he's flying. Bring tire, bring tire. He's coming back from the meeting. And before he finish now, he's hanging there. They will bring tire and burn the person alive. Wicked people. Because of superstitions. Any day you people will come out to de destroy this. You are going to have a better life. It is because of this superstitiousness. That made many of us to begin to accuse people without evidence. It's because of this superstitious religion that made many of you to begin to point fingers at individuals that the one that sold Mazen Nambekan. And you never ask yourself, this Mazen Nambekan herself, does it mean she's a stack, he's a stack illiterate? Eh? Mas, this Mazen Nambekan herself we are talking about, is he a child? I thought we say he's smart. So you allow himself so cheap like that to be sold by Umo Cook. Their brain will not go that side. This man's not the kind of we are talking that the China Samuel will sell. Take those them sold. They sold him. But he's, he said he's, he's a leader. He said he's a God sent. He said he's a smart. He's some, of, some of them, some of you take him as your Messiah. So. He can't even know all these things to know what to do. Upon his braveness, Umoko Kere, 
And you now begin to tell, you want me to be proud of you telling me that somebody sold him. That is why up to today, I've never pointed fingers at anybody that is irresponsible. Nobody. If you say I've done it, you know, I have never, since I started this journey, since this thing happened, I've never opened my mouth and said, you are the one that sold him. No. Even many people call me on phone. They say, Mazi, Mazi, it's nearly a fable that her hand is in this that happened. Mazi, is he found your back? They are the one that rented a flight. Mazi, this one. I don't want to put him out, brother. Do you know why? Because the man is alive. This is what brought about this autopilot. The man is alive. So when he come out, he has gone knew what happened. He didn't know what problem. So these are the things that are destroying this struggle. These are the things that are slowing the struggle down because of the mentality. Don't use your struggle to compare to other people. No. Don't compare yourself with the Jewish. You say Israel, they started their own. I think uh, they will gain their freedom. Uh, they fought since 1948. They have been fighting. Uh, no, it's not the same with you. you are, if you take Israel 100 years, they own maybe 1,000 years. I tell you. Because of the mentality. Jerobai. So that is what we are witnessing. And because of that idiocy, is the reason why some people are listening to one stack illiterate in his one 4x4 four four bedroom, giving instruction. I will buy Tukano. I will bring King John Un. I give Nelly of one week to speak. If not, she will go mad. I tell you people that uh, I Nsema will confess within two days. I'm going back home on 15th of August to go and declare the Afra. I know the date the Afra will come. Uh, uh, there will be uh, Sunday sit at home. There will be Monday sit at home. There will be Tuesday and Wednesday at the same time. Economic sanction now. All the women now will stop paying taxes at home. They win so many lies. But the thing is that the date will come and go. Nobody will ask question. Every Monday. If, if they will minus Monday from the calendar, you will find out that Autopilot have nothing to hold hand again. It is Monday that people have decided. The brain people that decided not to make noise. Including me. My family. All of them, they obey it. They obey it right from the beginning. It is all a good check. We can't come out in the open and tell you what we're supposed to tell you. It's just to you to know what you're supposed to do. Now, that's it. You know why? Because the director of state have done their job. So, that Monday sit at home now. If you like, other people can honor it. Fine and good. But it is not in the head of Mazen Namdekan anymore. Because his institution have done a job on that. So that is the reason why we try to educate all of you. For you to know. We don't have any other job. What we are trying to let you know how to reason very fast. I think I have a caller here already. Normally today, but let me call you back. Normally, I, I'll be descending. Normally, I'll be... You know, I told many of you that... Um, October. October is here. October is some few. How many months ago? No, how many days ago? Uh, normally. Okay, let me leave it. Let me leave it. Normally, I have to go. I have to go. Like I said, I want to leave this program for you. I will leave this program for you. If you like it, if you like it, you can enjoy it. Uh, it's one of the best broadcasts so far from Mazen Namlekan. One of the best. Uh, one of the best broadcasts. Is it this one? Better. In a cage back home, or in a bungo, in a big glory. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, are you talking? You are talking to us. I think you, you are referring to us, Mars. Uh, you are referring to us. Unity of Nigeria. But my dear House of Flanny man, in 1957, you voted against Nigeria becoming independent. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, this uh, program is for be obedient. Imunama history. All no, all no, a program agabaluru. Oh, IPOB know it already. The doors are wise, brother. The doors are wise. What you don't know is bigger than you will move. We are doing undercover. Is it easy to lie? The, remove your ignorance from you 
you will begin to work with anybody that is talking about you do just remove your ignorance in you now they will they will realize yourself uh, now no no let me play it in my normally in a in a queer no no how that's all we are lying if you remove the ignorance in you you cannot be able to work with ned and any other person that is shouting you do but i'm spiritual I'm spiritual. I'm into spirit. But in the of able to use you to hold me. But I'm spirit. <laughs> Wickedness now, people need me. Some of them are wicked. Some of them don't know what they're doing. Uh, where is it? I know they will say, Metisala, why are you bringing this again? Brother, I'm going again. I will not do anything. I just to show you. I'm going to repeat here now. I want for you. I will be repeating it. You don't want me to repeat it. Some of you say, eh, Mars, don't play it. I don't want to hear this voice. That means you are not a freedom fighter. You are not come. I don't call John. That one that will upset you, you will hear it. And enjoy it. I want how, when it is good, you will be rejoicing. No. You have to endure whatever situation you find yourself. Mental resilience. You know, everything is the good. Then you are claiming to be freedom fighter. No. You can tell Seba how she can you so won't you deliver a man you deliver it. Don't allow anybody to deceive you. I'm telling you, don't allow because of somebody you join the struggle. Go and convince yourself. If somebody made you to enter the struggle, quit. Go and convince yourself to enter. So that when you need to do something, it will not demoralize you. Some of you are you are slacking back today because somebody you look upon is no more doing how what you're supposed to do. Because of it, now you say, okay, if this person can uh, relax, then I'm not doing it again. That means you don't know what is freedom. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I thought I have it here. I don't know why. I thought I have it. I don't have it. Sometimes it's good to play it. Uh, 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 is it do a lie? <laughs> uh, some of them are telling us, why are you repeating this every time? You're making it popular. Uh, actually, I did it popular. Is your people now? You don't want him to be popular. We want to use it to open and then I will be able to some now. I'm send it send it to me. I see if they have never heard this thing before. Uh -huh. Look at it here. Is it do a lie? Point. I am not concerned about uh, what uh, what uh, you know what uh, people are doing. Nelly of Febu Nelly of Febu is doing something that if you know if you know if you know uh, you will protect her more than me at least for now. So. There is nothing that will make me knowing what Nelly is doing for this struggle and for the release of Mazin Namdikana. And you want me to go against her. Never. Yeah. She has not done what will warrant me to do that. And I don't think she will ever do that. Now, the issue of you do, the issue of you do, like I said, mm -hmm. the only thing you need is to remove. give away the ignorance that you have. See, I'm your ignorance. Remove it. Mm -hmm. And you are going to walk with, with Nelly you. and others that are shouting you do. Have you removed the ignorance before you are here? <laughs> have you removed it? If you've never removed that ignorance and you are here as an autopilot, remove that ignorance in you. You cannot be able to walk with anybody. That's what is holding many of you. Autopilot. Remove the ignorance in you, you will work with Nelly of Ebu. Have you removed it? Are you working with her? That's a question you should ask. But you know, we, what we hear is remove. <laughs> thing you need is to give away the ignorance that you have. Mm -hmm. And you are going to work with Nelly and others and that others. are shouting it too. Mm -hmm. Once that ignorance away. goes away from you, once ignorance goes away from you, you will embrace whatever anybody is doing. He was even saying that Nelly of Febu and know it. And what you don't know is, is bigger than you. you. Now, and for somebody to come and tell me you a wait Nelly to criminals in uh, the, uh, the criminals that will have destroyed or some criminal coordinator. <laughs> criminals who <will> have destroyed. <laughs> a non-member of organization. A non-member is destroying members that is in, still in charge. A, a non-member. How will I explain it? I don't know. You know, sometimes 
Omo go go, I don't know. Oh, former committee of failure, not committed the crime. It is ideological differences. It is ideological divergent view. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with fraud. At all. It has nothing to do with crime. Mm -hmm. So why should you now be, come and say, if you stand for truth, what is the truth there? What is lie there? <laughs> you know, what is lie there? How can you say it is lie? Mm -hmm. How can you say it is truth? Oh, yeah. Is it do a lie? Is it do a lie? Oh, you know they do can you say it is truth? No, they is do it do a lie? Lie? Is it do a lie? <laughs> so, oh, yeah, oh, he, man, our people are very dumb. Not all of them. When I say our people, I'm generalizing it. Some of our people, in their numbers, they are very, they are dumb. Some are wicked, some are dumb. Some are also wicked and dumb at the same time. Some of them know that this guy is not doing anything. But they, because of the, that's why I was, I hail anybody that have joined this wagon initially and return back. Even those people and the people that will be listening to. Not just return back and go and hide you. Return back and be walking assiduously. And you'll be seeing the person. Walking and using his experience to correct others. I know he's, you know, you know he's, you know, easy to swallow. Uh, uh, what do I call it? Pride. Hey, no, I have I have made this move now, and they have seen me talking not up a lot. If I come back now, and they come back and begin to talk about the US now. Oh, I don't know the eye they will look me. In fact, it's better let me continue talking not up a lot. Uh, yeah, no problem. Let me die there, no problem. Because of, uh, I will feel ashamed. It's not easy. We have people that have joined this wagon initially. Which, not everybody's mental capabilities are not the same. Because everything was in disarray. And now about here and there. Now I try allegation here and there. But they now they turn back and begin to use the experience. Use your past experience to correct your present situation. You will have a brighter future. So those of them, anybody you see that have joined autopilot initially and they turn back and begin to preach. And you see anybody say we should not listen to the person. To hell with the person. And my God, in practicality. And you know, I can't talk about now. I'm not doing, I'm not with them now. No. I'm talking about those that are those that are doing practicality. You want to have portal from there. No, you see that the experience anyone. Even how I can't wait experience can I go on outside. Here is the experience of the autopilot. Now Christian the Marvin sitting like this is what we met. That's what we are talking about. So, we should not discriminate those people. We shouldn't. We have to welcome them with a clean hands and begin to hear them at a high esteem. What is now? One of these, he got to who before because of fear and shame. He got a lot of killers now. These are what is going on to this woman. This woman, I don't, I cannot explain. I calculate him. I don't know where she he belonged to. I don't know, I don't know, I don't understand what is going on. Today is autopilot, tomorrow is due, today is autopilot. And yeah, but they caught on the other like, That guy can die easily. And the, if he die, he will not know the people that kill him. Because he has become enemy here, enemy here. You go here, you condemn this one. You come back again, you condemn this one. You still go back there again, but you can come back. How many times? You don't know what you want. So that is the reason why. We must make sure we hold this people accountable. That is what Masi is saying here. Uh, Masi is saying outside uh, Many of you that live in the village, you know how they carry how they carry monkeys in a lorry. I think is what he said. Not here. original to House Alan. They came. Otman Danfodio was a tutor. He was teaching the kings of Habe. He was teaching their children Quran. He came as a teacher. And he took over house land. They established the Sukkot Caliphate. From there, the son, from there, the grandson emerged, Ahmadu Bello, to become the premier of the north. Well spoken. I have to tell you. Have you heard Ahmadu Bello speak English before? Dear Lord God, only his accent alone. You will never believe that a Fulani man can speak English this way. Ahmadu Bello, that is the hatred of the Biafra state today. Amadou Bello is like the way many of you that are walking in truth and every honest. 
the way you take Mazen Nam the Khan is the way they take Amadu Bello. No, me she could not say eight or this man and hoy. And them are all Fulani. Then in the next fifty years, and somebody now will let's unite. And that you want to, somebody now will say, Allow me, I want to rule. Will you be happy? You will not be happy. The, 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 the pains will be there forever. You can never go out. So that is what we're experiencing. Uh, somebody wrote me that he is calling me. Normally, I don't want to pick up today because of um, some certain reason. Tomorrow, we are going to kick off, or next tomorrow, when we are going to use the app. I'm very sorry for that. I want to begin to descend. I will allow this program to roll. I will allow you to roll. Uh, it will come maybe in the next 30 minutes. It will come to an end. Uh, it's just a brief history of what happened in the side of Mazen Nam Lekan related to the way we behave. Um, I want to thank all of you. I see Mwese Peter. Uh, Ikenna, I see all of you. Sarah Gold, our sister. Um, I see all of you. I see all of you. I see Patrick Uche. I have to greet all of you, both the enemy and the friends of Biafra. I see all of you. Uh, Mwese Peter, I greet you. Uh, this is a Chuku Dumene. Oh, Chuku Dumeme. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Chuku Dumeme, my brother. I hear all of you. Um, we have to descend. Ah, uh, our sister, our brother. Mama, I'm Tolupe, Ezife. May God bless all of you. Masimetu, good evening from here. Yeah, Udake Ewezoga. Bless you, brother. Mekeze. Good night. Yeah, Tochuku Wanko. God bless all of you, brother. Um Yes, our sister, yes, yes, please. Uh thank you for understanding. Our sister, you have to be warming up. Off for a few days. Uh don't worry, I will call you after the program. I have to tell you what to do. I have to tell you what to do because that's something you have to do on your own part. Uh so that you can kick off. Um let me let me begin to allow this. Dave Chooks. Greg Emmanuel. Chidubem. I hear all of you. I want to allow you people to enjoy the broadcast of Mazen and the can and them in the next um, 30 minutes. Like I said, it will be coming to an end. It will come to an end. Um, it will come to an end. Uh, it's not easy for many of you. What is going on in Biafra land is very painful. A lot of killing is going on. Not on everything that we see on the internet. But whatever that goes on, we have to keep our eye on the ball. Um... Uh, bless you. One minute, one minute, one, one of us. Mweke, I greet you, brother. Mweke, if I'm not mistaken, our brother Mweke from um, Italy. Um, Amadi Lawson, Chiazo Ugala. Thank God, Ogonna. I see you, Kechugu Idoko. I also want to announce that if you have, if you are watching me and you are a lady, apart from our sister um, Ejiro, if you are watching me and you are a lady and you are from Coastal Region, one day you need to contact me. You contact her, you're not going to regret it. You need to contact me. Very, very important. If you are watching me, or you come across this, my brokers, and you are a lady, whether married or no married, I'm going to have one of our sisters today, today, or yesterday. So when they battle this talk, Lydia and I have one. You know, I've got no one. If you want to approach a, a Biafran woman, one they go straight to the point. We are here to help each other. If I, if for me itself, I would suggest that every happy member should look for another happy member to marry. To me, oh, and I'll be on the number one number also. <laughs> I tell you, and I'll be on the number one number also. But where it will not be normal is when you are using your fellow, you use Biafra to get a girl and that you know, a, a lady you want to destroy. So this is the really miss blood. Since you don't want to settle down with the person. Then I'll be a Biafra woman. Kiji ba Iji Biafra struggle. And watching that, and watching that, can I see my house tomorrow? Watching that. Yeah, cross or give you, give you, after give, give you delete his number or her number. Sorry, or begin to joke with her. I'm gonna respect this struggle for the sake of the struggle. If you see a lady he like her, one he goes straight to the point. And one you're not going. I'm a many of you have never witnessed such. Go straight to the point. Ne, imaka. Any advice from there, I will be there. But I will watch you and watch you and watch you and watch you and you Then you have the Obola. You have intention of destroying her. That is the thing we will not accept in this struggle. You need to the struggle. So um, I can learn how to help and at the same time respect our women in this struggle. So if you know you are watching me and you are from coastal region, a lady, please indicate yourself. You will not regret it. Uh, you know, this struggle we are into, you know, we are not um, into money. We are not pushing money. It got dedicated. Uh, that is how it's going to be. I want to leave you. I want to leave you, brothers. Ah, Senorita Adabia, I greet you. 
Okan for Chine do one of us. Favor got to go one of us, I tell you. Our neighbor Chi Obona. May God bless all of you, brothers. But it's like God, God bless, bless. He gave me the candle. May God bless. 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 May God May God bless. 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 May God this man said they were going to colonize us and Islamize us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Bishop, I will call you now. I will call you today. I will call you today. I remember. I will call you. I, will, I remember you from uh, South Cyprus. I will call you. Mm. When that was not possible, they wanted to secede. They did not want to be part of one Nigeria. They said no to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. How was that full? And people said no to Nigeria. They said no to it. They said we don't want one Nigeria. In 1957, a position named Anthony Nahoro tabled a motion at the then Legislative um, Assembly in Lagos asking for Nigeria to become independent. It should have become at the same time with Ghana. Do you know, these are Hausa people that claim they love Nigeria so much. You know, some of you people's children that um, came out with third class and went to America. Now we're about to teach you history. You don't know. How is that full of people said no to Nigeria being independent? But today they're telling you, we want Nigeria, our country, independent, in the integrity of Nigeria. But my dear, how is that full of man? In 1957, you voted against Nigeria becoming independent. You said that the British should continue to rule us. Is that correct or not? Do you see why I want them in a televised debate? I am not and I don't know why they keep running. I want to explode this myth of Nigeria and one Nigeria to let people know that the same Hausa Fulani that killed 5.2 million Biafrans in pursuit of this British agenda of one Nigeria that they may have access to the oil fields of Biafra land, that they never wanted Nigeria in the first place. Hausa said no to Nigeria. Now you know. They think that we just came to do Biafra. We have come to destroy Nigeria. Nigeria won't exist anymore. That satanic enclave, anybody referring to himself or herself as a Nigerian, you are lower than a calibus monkey. Monkey in the In a cage back home. Or in a bungo in a big glory. That monkey has more brain than you do. Black African people are intellectually retarded because they cannot reason properly. That's why they are poor. That's why they are poor. It does not take Einstein to know that you have won Nigeria because of oil in Biafra land. The British cannot get to that oil because after the Second World War, America told them to disengage from Africa. No more colonialism. And who said that? A Republican president of America. I always follow the Republicans. They may sound very harsh. <laughs> they may sound very harsh. They are more like us anyway. But they are very kind and very soft on the inside. Believe you me. They are very soft and kind on the inside. Don't go with those ones that I want to molecule you, that tell you sweet words. But behind your back, as you turn back, they say, Waka. Follow those that tell you the truth, even if it is painful. Follow them. In America, follow the Republicans. Very important. The North, due to no fault of theirs, has viewed the Southerners with suspicion. The feudal North wanted to preserve their monarchical, theocratic, and simplistic culture. They detested the all dilution association associated with Western education, Western lifestyles, and Western radicalism. That is the beginning of Boko Haram. Most of you don't know this, that Boko Haram was started by the British. Do you know how they started it? When they brought us the Bible, and once Biafran saw that God was mentioned, that there is God, salvation, heaven, they said, of course, this is where we belong. We embraced Christianity. The same Bible missionaries went to the northern part of the zoo, to the Mohammedan Emirates of the north. Do you know what happened? The emirs they told the British, we don't want this Bible here. We don't want our children to go to school. No to school. No to your education. 
That was how Boko Haram started. And the British said, yes, we will not train your children. We will not bring the Bible to you. Just give us what we want. Give us your granite. Give us the little sand that you possess. Help us to get the oil from Biafra land. Anything you want, we give you. That was the deal the British stock was, um, um, struck with Hausa Fulani people. That is why today the British have control of the oil. In fact, they have control of the resources belonging to the zoo. That is why if you steal 50 million and go to Britain, you go to jail. If you bring in two, three, four, five billion pounds, you are fine. You go and buy a house in Bayswater and they help you put your children in good schools. British. That's what they have done to us. That's what they have done to us. But an average, typical African, more of a monkey than a human being, cannot reason that far. Because, anyway, that is why they are monkeys. That's why they call them black monkeys. Because they can't reason properly. But here on Radio Biafra, with our listeners all over the world, numbering in our millions, we have brains, we reason properly, like human beings should. That is why we are different that is why they want to shut us down. That is why they do all that they can. That is why they go and create fake Biafran groups. Fake. Fake. Answering Biafra. Fake. Poor, wretched, hungry people. Fake. We continue. We continue our work. The North was apprehensive of being forced into a marriage with the South of the zoo. The British colonial government had a, a, a sway the British colonial government had a sway time convincing the North oligarchy that being joined to Nigeria was to their best interest. The North was not convinced, citing population, commerce, religion, cultural differences as part of their fears. The Northerners told the British, the Southerners outnumber us. And the British said, no, don't worry, we can fix it. And the British did. They had a census. The British said that the North is bigger than the South, which is impossible. And somebody told them, everywhere in the, across the coast of West Africa, you cannot have more people in the desert than there are in the rainforest. It's impossible because you don't have any rain. All you have is the blood of cattle to drink and the milk. You don't even have water to drink. Ask yourself, what do foreign people drink? It's the blood of the cattle and the milk. They don't have any water. How, therefore, can you have people in the desert more than you have in the rainforest? It's not possible. But the British said, no, don't worry. We can fix it. That was how Britain introduced the reading and falsification of numbers to the zoo. By the time they finished their census of 1953, <laughs> the British said that how that people can go forward and form a government that will rule the whole of the zoo with only their numbers. They formed the Northern People's Congress. Do you know the only person that formed something resembling Nigeria? It was an able man. Of course, he didn't form it. NCNC was started by Herbert Macaulay, Yoruba man, and given over to Nam Dezigiwa. Nigeria Council, or National Council of Nigeria and the Cameroons, or National Council of Nigeria and or whatever it is, NCNC. The House of Fulani people formed their own and said, Northern People's Congress. The North, not Nigeria. Today you see them running about, oh, Nigeria, I think I'm back, oh, one Nigeria, integrity of Nigeria, all these idiots because they have made money. They have stolen money. And they want to keep stealing. Oh, one Nigeria, our country, one Nigeria. That was when, after looking at the zoo called Nigeria, I stopped blaming white people that call blacks monkeys. I'm telling you the truth. I stopped blaming them. Because people cannot reason properly. Then you're a monkey, for goodness sake. If you can't think properly. Rubbish. We continue this. And thanks to a former. A former knows how to get me going sometimes. This is, uh, this is a rare gem. This article is says magnificent. And we must preach it. Magnificent. The British colonialists had to organize to divide Nigeria into three regional blocks. <laughs> Britain, Britain, Britain. Very satanic and occultic in everything that they do. Satanic, Satan. We are living as free people. Not perfect, I agree. 
But as free beings, they brought us hell. Britain, when Biafrans are walking through the desert to get to Europe, it's because of the British. When children give birth to their young ones and sell them, it's because of the British. When people are being killed in their churches as they go to pray, the British caused it. They brought the rule and the reign of Satan and of darkness upon the lives of the children of light, the children of the Most High God to Kwabiyama, which is what we are trying to remove them from. That burden, that yoke. That's why we are here. These British colonialists had to organize to divide the zoo into three regional blocks, east, west, north, knowing that a balkanized south would be easier to manipulate by divide and rule. That was when they told Calabar people, oh, you're not Hebrew. If you be, oh no, you're different, you're separate. Because they still needed further access to the oil fields. Divide and rule is the best way to do it. They said to Ikwere, hey, but you're a bit different. Can't you see that uh, how you say good morning is different from how they say good morning at uh, or half year where you come from? So you are different. <laughs> and the idiots accepted. And where are they today? Where are you people, so-called Bayelsa, Rivers, all this rubbish, where are you? Only a quiet bomb do I have respect for and cross river. I don't respect the rest. We love them because they are our people. I don't respect you. Because you have no honor and integrity. You stand firm. Nation is superman and age. People should find out the meaning of it. A white man cannot leave Europe and come and tell you what is good for you. It's impossible. A Yoruba man who is conspiratorial in nature, these are people conquered by women. There was a Dahomean army that was made up of only women. They came and conquered Yoruba. Come on, for goodness sake. What good can come out of Yoruba? They will come from Yoruba land to come and tell you in Calabar that Hebrews are dominating you. And you agreed and you fell for the rubbish. Today, where is that oil that you claim Hebrews will take from you? You don't know that uh, Igbo land is full of oil? I will show you oil when you come to where I come from. I'm not going to tell people all these things because um, Britain will go and look for even somebody to come and, um, um, and take us over because they want oil. They think they can get away with it. We come in peace, but we bring hell with us as well. Everything bleeds. Everything, everything. Every human bleeds. They don't have two heads that we have only one. If we claim that men are created equal, now is the time to prove it. They kill us and we kill them. Simple. Is that difficult to do? Are they not running helter skelter now against ISIS? But when they were dropping bombs on Saddam Hussein, they didn't quite know that this was going to happen, did they? <laughs> Today they are running helter skelter on the streets of London. Nobody has monopoly over violence and death of other people. Nobody does. There are British holidaymakers all over the world, all over Africa. They do anything to us, we hunt them down and kill them. Simple. They think we are daft. No, we are not. We are peace-loving people. We are God-fearing people. We can never be terrorists. Never, ever, ever. It is not in our nature because we revere life. Never in our nature. Never, ever, ever in our nature. So when they do their stupid profiling at the airport, I say to them, we can never be, somebody bearing this type of name can never, ever be a terrorist. Never. It's impossible. So stop searching up and down, searching and searching and searching everything. Because we are not like that. We are children of God. We don't take lives. Never take lives. We are not terrorists and can never be. Mad people. We love life more than anything. Man can do the beauty of life. That's what we call a human being. With the tension of 1966, Juku and Gowon met in Aburi, Ghana, where the roadmap for loose confederacy of the zoo was drawn. The British advisors convinced Gowon that federation is as good as secession and as such the Aburi Accord should be jettisoned. The same British. They said go for peace. We said yes, we went to, um, to Aburi, Aburi in Ghana. The same British, they came again. I said to go on, don't say no to confederacy. Confederacy means secession. Because they wanted that oil, that oil, oil in Biafra land was the key. If you allow them to control that area, we will not get our oil money. Please, 
reject it and go to war. The British then set off, go on to go to war to kill us, the children of God. They are lucky we have not killed any British person. Today they are not running from Islam, because Islam, if you kill them, they come and kill you. But we never killed anybody. And we will not kill anyone. We just want our freedom, that's all. We will continue. What is our news today? Following sustained Boko Haram attacks in the northeastern part of the zoo, thousands of the monkeys from this same zoo have been forced to flee their homes, swamping towns in the north of the Cameroon. Authorities said yesterday, monkeys are running from the zoo. They are now refugees in the Cameroons. The same thing that happened to we, Biafrans, must be beaten upon everybody. Yorubas will get their punishment last, and theirs will be more sustained and more devastating. Write it on a piece of paper. Yoruba will get their own comeuppance last. The same way I said to you that Owazirike will fall, he has fallen. The same way I said to you that everybody belonging to the Human Rights Initiative is a child of Satan. All of you will be hunted down and killed. I swear on my life, God in heaven is my witness. Everybody there will be hunted down and killed for daring to bring APC Boko Haram and associating it with Biafra. You are all dead men walking. And women, if you have women amongst you. There will be no mercy. None whatsoever. We tell you in advance, so you know we are not cowards. Yoruba will suffer. Anybody that toys with the name Biafra, you are going down. Ourselves included. No more one name, the canon. If I mess about with Biafra, I will die. And so will my generations to come. Biafra is a spiritual calling. All the way from God. You mess up with it and you are going down. Go and ask those that came before us. What happened to them? Joha, they will tell you. It's not everything we can tell you on radio because we don't want to appear to be disrespectful to anybody. Go and ask them what happened in the secret of their home, in the comfort of their own homes. They will tell you. If you know what is going on, if they give you Biafra, you run away. People don't know what is happening. Following sustained Boko Haram attacks, the monkeys from the zoo are running to the northern Cameroon, the same way we fled to Gabon, the same way we went to Kevadi, the same way we fled to Africa. Now, the monkeys of the Mohammedan Emirates of the north are now fleeing to neighboring areas. What goes around, as they say in English language, comes around. It goes around, it comes around. History has an uncanny way of repeating itself. That is why I don't want us to lose again. We need weapons, we need arms. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. We need to prepare. That was why we lost. We were not prepared. We were not. Ujuku said to run around to use his father's money to go and buy weapons. We were not prepared then. Let us prepare now. We prepare and we win. Simple. Let me hand it. After the three day attack, 29 persons were killed, while 215 of the youths who fled to Cameroon to escape the forceful conscription have recounted their ordeals in the hands of the insurgents. Boko Haram is gathering momentum. Jonathan is weak, decrepit, the hopeless, and imbecilic. If we have people like Jonathan and the new Biafra running for any high office, they will be put in mental homes. In Saka, as soon as they say, I want to run, we analyze them and put them in Saka, in mental homes. The man is a retard. There was tension yesterday at Okwe. Owazrike have now asked, he's now cooperating with Nigerian police to come and kill and hunt down fellow Biafrans. This is freedom fighting Igbo style. This is why I heard the word Igbo. I told you now, anything you put Igbo into, or that's how it's supposed to If you like, try it now. <laughs> Which Igbo association in the world is doing well? And the answer is none. Do you think it's not for a reason? There is a reason to it. Igbo group. We are fighting for Igbo interest. Any day you open your mouth and say, I am fighting for Igbo interest from that day, your decline and demise sets in. Check it anywhere, any day, any time. This is Radio Biafra. What we preach is gospel. It's gospel, gospel. There was tension yesterday at Okwe. Yesterday being um, Saturday, I believe, because this news was reported on Monday, which means it was called on Saturday. An important leader of APC. On... No, it's yesterday, actually. Sunday. But the man is a thief. There was tension yesterday at Okwe. You know, he was an airline. First Nation airline. 
belongs to Tinubu. Tinubu, before you became governor, did you have an airline? The answer is no. How come all of a sudden you have one? <laughs> oh dear me, the zoo. Let me continue to tell you that South Africans, the whole world listens to Radio Biafra and they are copying everything we are saying verbatim. That means after a short while now, what the care? We'll be asking you the do lad of Daura. Maybe this Nigeria I created is the bad idea after all. Why don't you start your own and be drinking for the noon? If the stolen funds, according to the South African news media, if the stolen funds estimated at $50 billion were a country, the online medium reported it will be Africa's 11th biggest economy. He's saying $50 billion. $400 billion is in England alone. $400 billion pounds, not dollars. $400 billion very close to one trillion dollars stolen by black men in Africa. Black African leaders. Only in the zoo. Imagine when you bring in Zaire, you bring in Liberia, you bring in Sierra Leone, you bring in Gabon, you bring it everywhere. Every, once you see a black man as a head of state, you are looking at the embodiment of kleptomania. Is Woshi. They cannot stay without stealing. Some estimate puts the lost funds at 50 billion. My goodness me. That means that the money stolen in the zoo in six months, because 50 billion is what is still in six months, is greater than the economy of Ghana. <laughs> greater. But isn't it funny that today Ghana exports more yam than the farmers in the zoo? That is what stealing does to use Hoshi. That is what it does to your brain. That is exactly what it does to you. Some of you might understand it, but we do. We do. Completely and totally. South Africa is now poking fun at the zoo. They even mentioned the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation diverted over 30 billion oil revenues in 2009. This figure, he said, was bigger than the annual production output of half of all the countries in Africa. Oh, yes, no, it's awesome. Stolen funds from the zoo. That is why they tell you what Nigeria... When you see European newspapers like The Punch or Nation write about one Nigeria or Vanguard, oh, we in Ogadian, the epitome of establishment, the, when you want supporters of corruption, you talk about the Guardian newspaper. That is the entrenched supporters of corrupt practices. After all, the man who founded it, who floated it, I think is Hebrew, made his money from corruption. So what do you expect? Now you understand, don't you? The money stolen in six months is greater than all the uh, half of the entire African continent, the countries in it. The output. Stolen money. After stealing, then you'll be in hospital bed in London. And I don't know. I don't know. But at least our message is spreading far. The world is now beginning to understand the level of criminality and the incurable corruption in the zoo. And when you talk about all this nonsense, never ever forget that Buhari established an NPC. Don't forget Buhari was in PTF. Don't forget that this very man owns a house abroad. Don't forget Buhari imported $700 million in a suitcase carried by his ADC. Don't forget that this very man, the doulard of Daura, controlled nothing less than 200 billion naira as the head of the Petroleum Trust Fund. Where is all that money? This man has been selling oil for the past two and a half months. Where is the money? This man has been governing everywhere, running everything as a sole administrator and dictator with no accountability. People are scared to ask him questions. But the man is a thief. Complete and utter thief. Imagine when he put up new whiter than white and whiter than snow itself. In Corruptible. I said incorruptible before heaven and earth. We continue to disseminate this very gospel this evening. Don't worry, we shall open our lines. And I'm going to to educate and to enlighten. 
Africa's leaders must address the problem that caused so many of their people to migrate to Europe. Where did he hear that first? On Radio Biafra. He's a cleric, he said. I told you, everybody listens to us. Everybody does. According to Cardinal Peter Toxon, during a visit to his native Ghana, Cardinal Toxon, the president of the Pontifical Council for Justice and Peace, is a Roman Catholic. Remarks that Africa's leaders have been all too silent at a time when thousands of their people are desperately seeking a better life abroad and dying in the process. Where did you hear that first? That African leaders are keeping quiet. On Radio Biafra, of course. Somebody, a cardinal in Rome is even listening. We are formidable, I tell you. Very, very formidable. If you are not listening to Radio Biafra, you are ignorant. We must continue. Security operatives to monitor the bank account of judges who are in election tribunal or electoral tribunal, however, they wish to put it. As a way of identifying those who have been compromised by politicians, security agents, they won't give you their names. Just security agents. Just look at how flimsily they throw things about. Security agents will monitor the, which part of the show will know who to hold responsible. They won't tell you. Ndoshi. Security, security agents have been detailed to monitor the bank accounts of judges handling various election petitions. Now, if judges cannot be trusted, <laughs> oh, well, now. Because judges are the last bastion. They are the last line of defense between state-sponsored tyranny and the preservation of the rights of ordinary people. Those not in power. So, if security agents are watching judges who should be interpreting the law when somebody is caught stealing, that means that all their rulings now on the, all the thievery going on is meaningless. When I tell, when I told the world, or when I tell you that anything we say on Radio Biafra is true, some of you doubt me. Here's another proof. All the judges are corrupt to the extent that they are now sending people to be looking into their bank accounts. If you lack confidence in your judicial system, what hope do you have anymore? I tell you, the zoo is finished. Now you know what you never knew before, don't you? We speak the truth here. And the truth shall set everybody free. Defense headquarters condemn suicide attacks in our Safalani land. The defense headquarters on Wednesday condemned the spread of suicide attacks in they call it Northeast. They don't want to say the name. But the name is Kanuri. We are scores of innocent lives. We are lost on a regular basis. But I thought you said that you, are, you have now controlled Boko Haram. They no longer strike at will. That you are now in control. Why are you complaining? The reaction, of course, is contained in a statement issued in Abuja by the acting director of information, Colonel Rabe Abubakar. No longer Oluko Labe. They have chased him away. You know that Yoruba man. That talkative Yoruba man. Oluko. Chris Oluko Labe. Army general. You started mass communication with an army general. And there. This one is another Awosa man because Awosa has taken over everything. Colonel Rabe Abubaka, another Awosa man with a name that will find comfort in Saudi Arabia. We are in the same country. What is your name? My, no, my name is Tom Sochuku or the Kemmele. And uh, who is your fellow countryman? Oh, my fellow countryman is Rabe Abubaka. We are in the same country. Does that sound right to you? If this man were to travel to Iraq, or maybe to, to Syria, and say my name is Rabbi Abubaka, you will say, okay, okay, it's okay, you're a Muslim, I understand. But you're in the same country with him. His name is Rabbi Abubaka. Your name is Sum Tojibu, and you're in the same country. <laughs> oh dear. This statement described those perpetrating these heinous crimes as callous, barbaric, and monsters. But uh, Buhari called them his brothers. The army is now calling them callous, barbaric, and monsters. But these are the same Boko Haram that Buhari called my brothers during Salah, Salah message a few weeks ago. Or oh, have you forgotten? Because if you have forgotten, no, we have not. We have not. This radio Biafra, we told them that they are in trouble, didn't we? And they are in one almighty mess. I tell you, who will destroy them? Don't worry about that. It's happening already. It is crumbling every day. Do you know the zoo is on fire? Because Radio Biafra. The world can see the truth. 
Stay there and keep feeling sorry for yourself. Am I not a black person from Africa? When I say blacks are baboons and monkeys, I don't exclude my every until we prove otherwise. Until Biafra comes. The day we get a, is the day that Biafra comes. If you turn on your tap, water will come out. From mains, water works. If you switch on your light, there's electricity. Nobody's complaining of hunger or homelessness. People are meaningfully employed, not traveling to Europe to go and be washing toilet. That day, aha, uh -huh, we can say we are human beings. But until then, baboons and monkeys everywhere. Boko Haram now have a new leader. According to the child president. The child president is Idris Debi. He confirmed that Boko Haram have a new leader. He did not say what had happened to Abubakar Shekau, but said he had been replaced by Muhammad Dawood, who has not has been heard of before. Mr. Shekau has not featured in the group's recent videos, leading to speculation that he has been killed. Mr. Debi, whose troops have been involved in battling Boko Haram, said Mr. Dawood was open to dialogue. That's how they start. They are now creating a fake Boko Haram with a fake leader to do. They, they will give them money to kill people to assume that authenticity. Then they now deal with them. That's what they do. What they try to do with all those mushroom radio stations, CVI, BVI, uh, uh, Radio Bedroom, Germany, uh, uh, Upper Niger, Lower, I think there's Lower Niger Radio Incorporated of uh, Biafran Board of uh, Control. Rubbish. Let me see. We told them that heaven sent us. And today, they are lying in the gutter, flat. We must continue. They are creating another Boko Haram to replace the original Boko Haram. Ocean provocateur. Reps to probe 5 billion police recruitment. If the police fund is missing, then there is trouble, isn't it? That means if your money goes missing, you have no hope. If police cannot find their own money that is missing, how about you when you lose your money? The House of Representatives of the Zoo on Tuesday resolved to probe 5 billion Naira police recruitment fund stolen. They appropriated the money for the 7th Assembly in 2014. To this end, the House mandated its committees on appropriation, legislative compliance, and police affairs, when constituted to probe the matter and report back to the House for further legislative action. What they mean to say is, I cannot be here and people will steal five billion and we didn't get our own share. Go and tell us what happened, who stole what, and tell us what we're going to get in return. That is how they reason in the zoo. That is why they are all criminals and they are all hypocrites. Buhari don't need Igbo people. Some Igbos are saying they don't need him either. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> they don't need him. He's not worthy of our commentary, to be honest with you. Igbo. They are not so good, so good. We must continue. Exposing another Buhari administration falsehood. Below is an official press statement explaining how the loan Buhari claimed was diverted, was to be ex expended, was to be, but we are the money. Nigeria has increased its external debt profile with an additional 1.1 billion borrowed for three projects. If they want to build a railway line, they go and borrow money to do so. What are these projects? This Abuja light rail project, which will cost half a billion dollars. The other one is Galaxy backbone infrastructure project, which will cost 100 million dollars. Where is the Galaxy backbone? Maybe it's in the galaxy, in the sky, where the uh, stars are in the galaxy, Milky Way. Maybe the money is in the Milky Way, galaxy infrastructural project. What is it? If I continue to explain to you how criminally minded the baboons and the monkeys in the zoo are, you will not believe me. Everything, once you are a, you say, I am a Nigerian, from that particular instant, that very second, you're a thief. There is a, a, a type of evil spirit that goes, the evil, the demon of kleptomania to steal will just enter inside you. You turn into a full blown rogue. Once you're a Nigerian, you're a rogue. A criminal extraordinaire, I tell you. And it shows. It shows. 
stealing money. Abuja Light Railway. Where did the money come from? They are borrowing money against oil, crude oil from Biafra land. Is there any light railway in River State? Any light railway? They said Amechi is building one. They, it has stopped somewhere around my one. <laughs> hey. One of my friends said, You'll be on light railway with electricity. How many of you go to hotels or big buildings and you use the lift? They will tell you you are doing such a old risk. Oh, pushing a banner, fifteenth floor, and Nepal will take light. And then they will say the gen there is no diesel in it. People live like animals in the zoo. I tell you, four people are dead as helicopter crashes into Lagos Lagoon. I thought there were Igbo people before. A helicopter belonging to to Bristol has crashed into a lagoon in Owolonshoki area of Lagos, the dirtiest city in the whole world. The stinking, filthy city of Lagos around 3.40 p.m. today, August 12, 2015. Very sad indeed. Very, very sad. Souls are lost. But if there are also full of the people in it and Yoruba, then good riddance to them. The National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA spokesman is Ibrahim Farin Loye, NEMA Emergency Management spokesman. Not Marine Police to go and fish them out of the lagoon, but a national emergency. It's an accident. It is not an emergency. Very sad souls we are lost, of course. If there are Bia is where we worship. Why do we worship Chukukika Biama? Because he is the creator. Something that Chukua Biama created cannot be greater than him. It's impossible. Europeans are lying and they know it. There is no way Koroya is impossible. They wanted to wrestle power away from Jerusalem. Rome wanted to take over power from Jerusalem. They concocted that other rubbish. There is no way that the, something that was created can be greater than creation. It's impossible. It defies logic and common sense. Logic, natural sequence, natural law. There is no way that something you created can be greater than you in glory. It's impossible. It is impossible. You made a car, you made a Ferrari, you made a Lamborghini, you are maybe you're like innocent. Anything you created cannot, people can admire it from now till the kingdom come. That thing can never ever be greater than the creator. It's impossible. That is why the name Chukukika Biyama is the greatest name ever. People talk rubbish. They asked Yeshua to pray and he said, Our Father who art in heaven, he said again, Hallowed be thy name. Go and check the meaning of, the, of, the, of that particular word. Hallowed be thy name. I don't like people who are daft. But you can't be a man. You can't be a man. Be merciful unto your children. Give them wisdom and understanding. If they are IPOB, bless them. Bless their children and their inheritance. Let them see the light. Let them become the light of the world. Let them embrace your enlightenment. For because of them, humanity came to existence. Because of Biafra, mankind exists. People don't know the meaning of Biafra. Only if you know what Biafra means. You don't know the meaning of Biafra. I wish you knew. That is why I will bless each and every one of you. Bless your children, your family, your inheritance, but above all, we will bless Biafra. That is why tomorrow we will reconvene. That is why heaven will take every praise. That is why we will always kneel, bow. That is why we will always offer every adoration to the Most High. And that is why this very evening, I will say good evening to all of you.